The planes? The very same. <laughs> Wondering, Robin, um, um, would you, uh, would you like to, um, would you like to fart? <laughs> wow! Do I? Even I don't know. I'm sorry. Did you? Did you? Do I like to fart? If I had, or, do you say ten thousand dollars for every time a man told me, "Do you like to fart?" How many thousand dollars would you um, have? I could buy a car. Yeah. Don't, please, don't, 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 don't I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go go lie with my eyes awake for a little bit. Okay? Wow. I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, bye. Actually, I'm gonna sleep, oh. and you just collapse. <laughs> Generally, you put your hand up the puppet's, <laughs> but today, your pit put his foot in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, that was like I feel good about that. You wanna maybe slide well, the board a little? Oh, is that allowed? Sure. I was gonna ask you guys. It's how, just for protection. So, yeah. If I could bounce him under, uh, yeah, bounce him off the to. wall. I was like, do I have to bounce him off the wall? You don't have to. We can like, we can, like if you wanted just to, hold you could. The, yeah, we could just like form yeah, a backboard. Yeah, I want to bounce him. Do it now. Hold yeah, it. Form it. a Physics. backboard. Hold, so hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I'm gonna just see where he goes. I'm gonna cover my eyes. Good call. I'm behind there. How hard? Like, okay, I haven't played the physical version, and I'm used to the the virtual. The <laughs> well, you want to get edition. you want the meter to get about halfway. Yeah, yeah. about halfway on the meter. Just hold back. I got a pretty good meter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice bank shot. <laughs> nice. Clip that. That was great. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, <laughs> but it worked really well. Ricochet. Well, you see. Um, when an object in motion meets another object, it, it tends to stay in motion. <laughs> now I'm cheating, and I'm cheating, and I'm cheating. S -s -s Why don't you roll your dice again and see where they <laughs> land? I did it one time! You did it twice today! But I put it back! <laughs> as best as I could remember. <laughs> Always right, good when you have to qualify like that. Yeah. It really instills a lot of confidence. Right. I didn't mean to the second time. <laughs> you get around 31. He's got two other ways out. So. My constable feels a shiver going down but, his spine. But he doesn't know. by the time she's asking about 31, it's going to be an arrest <laughs> attempt. I'm trying to role play. That's true. Sorry. I, was, I appreciate it. I was busy playing the game and I, 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 I got My constable I got feels a shiver go down his spine and he doesn't know whether it's the fact that Jack is near or that he's covered in piss and it's really <laughs> cold outside. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> so that's he is all I. seeping into his Great. thorn wounds. That's and all. <laughs> that's all. <Ew>. Uh, <laughs> so it also might be disease that does the shiver. <laughs> his piss is slowly seeping into the. Thorn wounds from the, the rose he found on the street now penetrating his dump <laughs> truck. This is that interesting subgenre of board games where it's like, who's winning and losing is so obvious, nothing else is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, yep. it's very clear that this is the win lose thing. <laughs> the rest of it. Oh well, boy. Except yeah. for the fact, like, if you haven't been explaining the rules, there's two tracks yep. here. What does this mean? I will say, yeah, I, I get that, because because my the the biggest the crunchiest thing I've played is like Great Western Trail, but at least that has one track. You have yeah. to make it to the end of the Great right. Western Trail. You don't have to do it backwards while you do it forward. Now Jack gets to choose whether he wants to kill or wait. Jack gets to do everything. It's a game about Jack the Ripper. What do you expect? Um. What if he just wants to like have a chill night? Is that yeah. allowable? I don't know about this Jack the Ripper, but I'm planning a real chill night so far. Look, Eric was the first one here tonight, and he said, I want to play Jack the Ripper. I'm done, not done. I'm not arguing with that. Fine. Done and done. I'm taking I just know everybody talks about Jack the Ripper, but nobody talks about Jack the person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was Jack's day today? Yeah. We take this game real hard, core. You know, yeah. we're just all right. This is league play Dungeon yeah. Doodles. I'm trying all, to get my RR up. I actually then, draw lines I just to keep my, my oh. APM up. All right. Let's get those <laughs> my out LP, there. my lines per minute. Everybody, close your eyes. Sure. Point at Eric if you think he did it, or put a fist out if you want to abstain, or point at somebody else. All right. On the count of three, one, two, three. Open your eyes. <laughs> all right. Four people pointing. I, I look through and I put a live one because I didn't want to be suspicious. He was the cultist! <laughs> you two are already dead and you didn't even know it! <laughs>
You know how if you go fly fishing, you take uh, you take your your fishing pole and then you attach some bait to it, and you see if a fish just goes. Right. Ah. What if we did that with Hamish? Just toss him in the swamp and then see if anything comes, and then just. Ah. And then we got oh. ourselves a beastie. Okay. 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, like I mean, I mean, he 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 took credit for that for that book that you wrote. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. Yeah. I know. I know what he did. And there's a saying where I come from, and that's if someone someone steals a book that you wrote, you stick them in a swamp. That that saying <laughs> where you come from, from is it? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> No, I, it's oddly specific to this situation, but I, <laughs> I like it. Hey, Eric's got to replace his card, though. Okay. Without looking. Without looking until you're either challenged or the end of your turn. Thanks, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. He doesn't know what he has. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take four and eight. Okay. I'm going to block that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Honestly, if there weren't two of these facing up, I would have. <laughs> Just because you never know. <clears throat> All right, I'm going I'm to take two of your monies. Um, I'm going to block that. I'm going to challenge it because why the f not? Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Oh, wow. wow. I love Buff and Nerf. Ah, Buff and Nerf is great. That's the back of the card. I didn't see the card. Look at that. I was like, oh, okay. I think I know exactly which one it is. Okay, okay what does it actually look like? Uh, Eric. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it. that looks like the wallpaper. I think. Yeah. I think that's. <laughs> you yeah, might actually be this. reinforcing our thoughts on this one. It's right side up. Mm. Um, Let me see this shit. I can't tell which side. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, I didn't realize. <laughs> I killed Kyle on that one. <laughs> I was like, I think... caught being an idiot on the stream. Okay. <laughs> I don't know which way it goes. I think it goes like this. I think that's the correct way. And I still think it's this one. I have a question. Yes. So, what are our buffs and debuffs? Mmm. We'll get to buffs and nerfs in a minute. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> well, the player so, next to you gets to sock you in the crowd. <laughs> it's so aggressive. This one just says, beat Bill. What? <laughs> he used to write these before we'd ever even really played the game or understand it, so it'd be like, minus one point. And you're like, it's a game where you only score three points, Kyle! <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I thought that this was going to be, in true fantasy form, a game where I get to own a home. Nah, yeah, no, <laughs> no. No, this is capitalism. Nope. <laughs> this is where we sell the homes to people with more money than us. But at sea level salary, you could probably own one. That's true. Well, Not this great. one, but, yeah, but different. A different one. Yeah. I'm what's inside. great is if you do badly, you'll just be a sea level at some other company. They just pass you around for the rest of your life. It's great. You may move again. Wonderful! Uh, something about a street lamp. <laughs> alley token. Cross through an alley. That allows you to move through a housing block, which is like from, like if you were at 95, you can move through the alleys over to 96 or something. I mean, or example. if I would like somewhere down there, maybe I could do a bunch of things down there if I were there. <laughs> or like from 117 across to 81. Or, or like, I don't know, 154 up to... You know. <laughs> like 59 to, I don't know, like 70. Hypothetically, yeah, but like like I could do also 40 to 41 <laughs> over here. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to put... Yeah, this is like a crime photo. Okay, so this is so we know who died, where they got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just following yeah, the Kyle. instructions okay, on the sure card. I mean, you are. I mean, <laughs> you, you do we you, were Kyle. just thinking of a joke do we told each yeah. other before yeah, the stream started. Yeah, <laughs> nothing to do with that. Completely separate. Let me just alter the orientation <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so, uh... God, no. <laughs> if you'd place the bottom one first, it would not happen that way. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Oh, I don't have I don't have the energy to spend to re-roll anything though. Oh boy. Are you okay, this is the second roll, right? Okay. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I do it? You win. If this is how you win. Can I do it? I will actually kill you. Yeah! Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, man. Oh, oh nice. stupid win. Yeah! I was doing so good. Very dumb. <laughs> Yes! Wow, there he is. <sighs> Very nice. Amazing! You lost wow. your bet, but you I won got the game. Seven, I got nine victory points. That puts me over I the top. Wow. I win. That was Woo. beautiful. That was, that was good. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> You're spending to exert, one action to move and then exert to dive. And then I have to, to exert dive. to dive. Okay. Hopefully I don't hurt myself and then get a tremor and die. Mm -hmm. I hurt myself. So you did hurt yourself, <laughs> and you were currently off the board. I'm All right, right. I'm that. underwater. Monsters nice. move. I brought a scuba tank into <laughs> we, the cave. We skip, we skip oh, it. you're right. We skip it. Cool. So then now. All right, no tremor. Uh, first player, you're still down for now. Mm. Yeah. Let's uh, move. Yeah, the let's move I've done a lot. Monsters uh -huh. moved, right? They did. Yes. I'm okay. so uh -huh. sorry. Can we go pick him up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. gas is also still. In the I'm coming. <laughs> I'll be there soon. Gas is still in effect. So he says through the radio underwater. Yeah. <laughs> That's my liver, okay? I decorated it just how I like it. I'm gonna the right amount of cirrhosis. And I'm gonna move out of the liver. That's his brain. Oh, you're gonna move out of your liver? I didn't move out, okay? I just left on you vacation. Did. No, you literally No, I went on vacation. I locked the door, <laughs> turned on the alarm system, and took a ferry to the brain. Nobody better show up at my house unannounced. Fact. What if I check your mail for you? The I letter. have the ring on. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Let's take a look at scores. Let's figure out who won. I think I should get points for that one. No. No. I don't nope. get any extra points. I didn't get, get an extra point because you refused to vote. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kyle. Yeah. I should get a I should get points. No. Or else it's racism. No. No. <laughs> well then I guess no. Kyle's Can racist. <laughs> or else you're a racist. I guess he's a racist, because you're not getting that point. No, he knew he was racist. Hashtag Kyle's a racist. <laughs> please please don't oh, no. oh, no. please don't please don't do that. No. Wait, 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 wait. No. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Kyle's a pretty common name, so it could be yeah. anything. We'll edit that out of this episode. Is there lore? I don't know. <laughs> Witches, warlocks, wizards, sorcerers. Yes. Whatever you want to be. Whatever. All right, I'll be a shaman princess. Great. Damn, yeah, that's what I want to be. <laughs> the overview just says potions and spells is a recipe building card game for two to six players. I want lore. All says let's Dragon make it lore now. Yay! Make it lore! <laughs> the Dragonson clan. Long have we reigned over the land <laughs> with our wizarding powers. Yes. My dad yes. totally oh. runs this place. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna inherit it, but I'm like really chill about it. Uh, and that is the end of my double turn. Cool. Are there any pointers on what kind of sh you're gonna be up against? Oh, I did. When With battling him, him, he makes yeah, you use spirit, yeah. and he targets heroes in his current kingdom. So it might oh, be great. that he, f like, if we're in the kingdom while he's being fought, we might all get affected. By what happens, Great. and he makes you lose spirit. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I did it again! Did it again! <laughs> what? Two and one? What bullseye, baby! Bullseye! Clip it! And not bullseye from the Daredevil expansion of Unmatched. <laughs> I would like to report a workplace. are leading a group of fellow woodland critters in developing a new city, constructing buildings, meeting characters, and hosting events in an effort to make your new township the best before the winter moon rises. Welcome to the world of Everdell. Construct the ever tree by sliding the trunk into the legs, then shimmy the lower and upper branches down from the top. You'll need to slide the upper branches down at an angle to get them around the bulge of the leaves so they'll lay flat. Place the board on the table and place the ever tree on the stump at the top. Pile the twigs, resin, pebbles, and berries along the riverbank in their appropriate spaces. Pile up the point tokens and occupied tokens somewhere near the board. Shuffle the forest cards and deal some out to the clearings on the edges of the board. 
three for a two-player game, and four for three or four players. Put the rest of them back in the box. Place the four basic event tiles along the river, then shuffle the special event cards and place four of them on the lower branches of the Evertree like so. Put the rest back in the box. Shuffle the main deck and deal out eight cards to the meadow. Put the rest of the deck face down inside the Evertree. Give each player a set of two matching workers. Each player places their remaining four workers on the upper branches of the Evertree, one on spring, one on summer, and two on autumn. The most humble player goes first. They'll draw five cards from the deck. Second player draws six, third draws seven, and fourth draws eight. On your turn, you'll perform one action. There are a lot of possibilities for those actions, but they boil down to three basic options. Place a worker, play a card, or prepare for next season. To place a worker, you'll take one of the workers from your supply and put them on a paw print space to claim the associated reward. Spaces with a full circle around the outside are exclusive, meaning a worker can only visit that space if no other workers are there. Spaces with a half circle are shared, meaning there's no limit to the number of workers that can visit at a time. Basic locations are pretty self-explanatory. When you visit one of these spaces, you gain the reward indicated on the signpost. Forest locations are varied and generally more powerful than the basic locations. The second space on these locations is only available in a four-player game. You can't place two of your own workers on the same forest location, though. Some cards have paw print spaces on them. These are destination cards, and you can place workers on them once they're in your city to gain the reward described on the card. If the card has an open sign on it, other players can place workers there as well, but the owner of the destination will gain one point token from the supply when they do. You can also place a worker on any remaining basic event or special event to achieve it. To do so, you have to meet all the listed requirements. So, for the Grand Tour, you'll need three destination cards in your city. For the City Monument, you'll need three governance cards. The Harvest Festival requires three production cards, and the Cartographer's Expedition requires three traveler cards. Special events will explicitly state what their requirements are, which may include paying some resources back to the supply. You can't place your worker on the event unless you meet the requirements to achieve it. Once you do, move the event tile or card beside your city for endgame scoring. And don't worry, you'll keep the event, even if you have to discard some of the stuff you use to fulfill its requirements later on. Each event can only be achieved by one player. The Haven is a shared space. When you send a worker there, you can discard any number of cards from your hand, gaining one resource of your choice for every two cards you discard. The discard pile is always face down in this weird little nook at the bottom of the board. In autumn, which is the final season of the game, you can send a worker on a journey. To do so, you'll have to discard a number of cards equal to the points listed on the journey location you're sending a worker to. And while the three, four, and five point journeys are exclusive, there's no limit to the number of workers you can send on journeys. Instead of placing a worker, you can use your turn to play a card. To do this, you'll have to pay the listed requirements back to the general supply. Cards can either be played from your hand or from the meadow. When a meadow card is played, immediately replace it with a new card from the draw pile. If something allows a player to draw cards from the meadow though, finish drawing cards before refilling. But unless you're specifically told to draw from the meadow, you always draw new cards from the deck. If the deck ever runs out of cards, reshuffle the discard pile. There's also a strict hand size limit of eight cards. And if you're ever given the chance to draw a card when you're at that limit, you don't actually get to draw any more. If you're ever required to give cards to another player, you have to give them to an opponent who has room in their hand. If they don't have enough room for all the cards you're supposed to give them, hand over as many as they can carry, then discard the rest. Played cards go face up into your city, somewhere on the table in front of you. There are two types of cards in the deck, critters and constructions. If the card is labeled as unique, you can only have one copy of that card in your city. Common cards don't have that restriction, but your city can only hold a maximum of 15 cards. 
The rulebook recommends a layout of three rows of five cards each. But since that can eat up a lot of table space, you may need to get creative. If you're playing a critter card and the construction listed in the top left is already in your city, you get to play that critter without paying its cost. Each construction can only be used like this once though. To help track that, place an occupied token on the free critter icon in the lower right corner of the construction card when you use it like this. Don't ever remove the occupied token, even if you later lose the critter you used it for. There are five different types of effects you'll gain from cards. Tan Travelers will only activate once, and that's the moment you play them to your city. They don't do anything after that besides count towards event requirements. Green Production cards also activate as soon as you play them, but they'll activate again during season preparation in spring and autumn. We'll get to that shortly. We've already talked about the red Destination cards a little. They give you new worker placement destinations. Blue Governance cards will give you various bonuses or discounts when playing certain types of cards later on. And Purple Prosperity cards are worth extra bonus points at the end of the game. If you've already placed all your workers, and you've played all the cards you can or want to play for the time being, you'll use your next turn to prepare for the next season. Reclaim all your deployed workers and gain the bonuses for next season, as shown at the top of the Evertree. The game begins in late winter. So the first time you do this, you're moving into spring. You'll gain the worker in front of the spring icon on the Evertree and activate all the green production cards in your city. When you prepare for summer, you don't activate your production cards again, but you do gain a worker and you draw two cards from the meadow, as long as you've got room for them in your hand. In autumn, you gain two more workers as well as activating your production cards. Once you've claimed the bonuses for next season, your turn is done. And once you've already gone through preparation for Autumn, and you don't have any more workers to place or cards to play, you simply pass all remaining turns. It's important to note that seasons are not rounds like you might expect in other games. It's possible for one player to prepare for Spring two turns or more before anyone else does, and their turns aren't skipped while the other players finish up the winter season. Every player keeps taking turns until they reach the end of Autumn. Only when you have nothing left to do are you passed over in the turn order. Once all players have reached the end of autumn and passed, tally up your points to determine the winner. Add up the base value of each of your cards, your point tokens, purple prosperity card bonuses, journey points, and events. If there's a tie, whoever achieved the most events wins. And if there's still a tie, the most leftover resources is the final tiebreaker. You'll find a set of solo rules, as well as an index of all the critter and construction cards, if you have any questions about any of them, in the last few pages of the rulebook. And that's all you need to know to play your first game of Everdell. Actually, accident might not be the term. It wasn't an accident, he deserved to die. There, there, there was an incident. A squad of troubleshooters thunders around the corner. They're all wearing red, resplendent armor, and they come... They come barreling down and uh, and they see the body on the floor and then they look up. I was and they can't decide which one of you to ask and they're like, "Hey, which uh, one of you is responsible for I, this?" Hey, uh, Roy G, how's it going? Uh, Get your filthy infrared hand away from fair me. Fair enough. Listen, uh, this man was coming towards my team with uh, violence, uh, and um, I'm not saying I approve of what happened to them, but they are now dead. And I'd do it again, officer! And then he's gonna lock eyes with him and defecate. <laughs> <laughs> El so, does not have strong bells. So, so. <laughs> we good? Can I flick? What are you doing? Yeah, flick I'm it. making a, a, an arcing obstacle, so no. if it looks too high. No, it it's like it holy out. moly, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that was not what you were trying to do at all. Does this go not even close. But I got him within pillars. No, actually, that stays no, where it is no, until it activates No, you move again. the pillars you were looking at. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. not very good at flicking things. That was yet. real bad. That's that my first flick. Okay. That was real bad. My you should flick. see his digital flick. Oh, my digital flick. Leave you in tears. That sounds like something that people have to pay extra. No, for. it sounds yeah, it's like. Yeah, five It sounds exactly like it's. You know what? To. Let's get some. Let's get some shortened like terms going on. So digital flick. I'm thinking we just take the first. 
Nobody loves me. But you made a point of being like, I haven't had to drink anything. And so, you also made us call. And now you, I have. And it made us all drink. Yeah. 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 Kind of been an insufferable. In the yeah. And, yeah. and I'm the wow. insufferable one. <laughs> wow. Those compliments got to balance out, okay? Is it my turn? Oh, yeah, yeah. I would like to hear compliments from everyone now. <laughs> I will fall on my sword. <laughs> I think I could play this with my parents. Mm -hmm. Potentially. Yeah. They might get confused on a couple of things that I'd have to re-explain in the middle of the game, like getting really frustrated while they're deliberating on things. <laughs> you don't think your dad would be like, no, I saw the movie, that guy did it. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I do think he would do that, actually, yes. <laughs> but I have learned that a lot of people watch streams without headphones, and it doesn't. Like, yeah. I Alexa, bet. play Despacito! <laughs> Let's find out. Chat, did anybody get triggered by that? <laughs> hey, Kyle. Oh, yeah. Will this go through? I don't know. Let's find out together. It's going to say a lot about you. I... <laughs> Face down. <sighs> yeah. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to say no. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, rude, <laughs> but wow. okay. That says a lot about this alien. I don't know, kid. I don't know, kid. I don't know if you should I, be hanging out with this alien. I okay. wish that the stream was in on this joke. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> you wow. triggered my echo at home. My wife's watching. Yes! <laughs> yeah, and then when there's a blue one there, I can tell the difference. But when there's not... What, have you had your eyes cut and lasered? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Hey, hey, Dustin, do you have any, like cards in your wallet that might indicate that Kyle is not playing by the You know, world. let me let me let me take a look here. I might just Welcome, welcome, one and all, to The Board and Barrel. My name's Kyle McCarley. With me as most of the time, mostly Eric Riker. Hello, I'm also here. Over <laughs> on the other side of the That's table. So is Solid Thank Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Over on the other side of the table, we have Dustin Hendrickson. You gotta I'm, say something. Yo, I'm here at dust of the time. D dust Get it? Of the see what I did? I see did. what I see what I did? Real nice. And our guest this evening, voice actor David Arrigo Jr. And I'm just generally daft, daft, daft. <laughs> uh, mine was nowhere near as clever. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming Danica's booing Dustin. That just what? makes sense. No, why? <laughs> I don't see why. That bit that. Whatever. Yeah. Couldn't, you. Have, couldn't be me. We're famously totally besties. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. Uh, so, this is a show where we play board games. Let's take it over to the table. Uh, this is Everdell. There we go. Fixed it. Uh, <laughs> Everdell. And it, look at it. It's got a pretty tree up here. Can I Can I zoom in on that? Where is that? Where's the tree shot? Get the tree shot. Look at the Ooh, tree. Damn. And it's in three dimensions, y'all. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's built up. Put on your 3D glasses <laughs> for Everdell vision. Uh, and my like my side note commentary on this game before we even get started. This is a seventy dollar retail edition. Like the, just just the basic version of this game costs seventy bucks. Wow. Because all the components are nice. Even though yeah. none of it affects the gameplay at all. There's no reason for this tree uh, other than it just looks pretty. Cool. <laughs> I like it. I'm here for Did it. Did you ever play Grim Forest, you guys? It's sort of a, no. um, a wagering that. game. That okay. one's 
beautifully designed. Yeah. But when I was at Geeky Tees, he was like, I like this game. There is no need for it to be like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, conceptually, mm-mm. But it's beautiful. Yeah. And, uh, like, these these are cool. These are, little, like, wood resource tokens, yeah, resin resource tokens, stones, berries. They all look real pretty. Yeah. They Those could... berries look like they would come with an action figure. Yeah. And they're, like, squishy, too. <laughs> these are all... Oh, squishy? Yeah. They oh, squishy. All of these, eat these. All of these would be, oh, like, man. premium, like, deluxe edition stuff. In most but, games. Yeah. yeah. These are in the yeah. retail oh, yeah, That's what I'm talking about. There is a premium version of the game that has a wooden tree. Oh. And these are actually wow. M&Ms in that version. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Everdell... Cool. If you this, bite hard enough, anything. Like <laughs> <laughs> this is a worker placement game. Uh, on your turn, you're going to have three choices for an action. You can place a worker, you can play a card, or you can prepare for the next season. Cool. Uh, when you place a worker, you're going to put your worker on one of these little paw print spaces that somewhere around mm. the board. Like that? Uh, the basic locations are pretty self-explanatory. These are all just going to give you resources. Oh, also, uh, if we zoom in, let's see, I think it's oh, the little this shot. Post. Okay, I see. Yeah, the little signposts tell you what you're going to get when you place a worker there. Uh, these, this is my one major design gripe. The ones with a full circle around them are exclusive spaces. Only one worker can be there at a time. The ones with oh. a half circle around them because that's real easy to notice the difference. Uh, those, there's no limit. So even if somebody's already here, you can still put a worker here. But this one, you can't, because there's already a guy there. I mean, clearly you've got to 3D print your own little pedestal to <laughs> drop on there. <laughs> yeah. So that you know which ones are closed. Yeah, exactly. And it can only fit one little footprint. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? You had... 30 plus minutes while we were all late to do that. <laughs> you knew about this at least a week ago, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> let's take a look over at the board here. Uh, wow, I love how I, pre I program all of these shots, and then the camera's like, oh yeah, focus information? Nah, we're not going to retain any of that. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have a problem with focus. So, <laughs> looking down at these... Uh, the, the forest cards that are on the outside edges of the board there. Uh, these guys have two spaces on them. We have a, four, a full four-player game, so both spaces are available. So you, mm. so you could still send a worker to one of these cards if somebody's already got one there. You cannot send two workers to one of these cards at the same time. So if you've already got a guy here on your next turn and that space is still open, you can't go there again. Mm. Uh, That's rude, but okay. We're also going to have cards in our hand. We're going to determine who goes first. The rule book says the most humble player goes first, me. which I think is it's a lot. I am, I am it's definitely the me. most humble. I'm the most humble person in the goddamn I, I, world, I, I and you can't know it. <laughs> I, I'm not, uh, no, I'm it's just, not me. I'm sorry, players. I know myself. It's definitely me. Uh... <laughs> If I don't like, get this, I'm going to be... I feel like David just won the most humble contest right there. I can't there. see how that works. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think what we'll do is probably just roll the name die. <laughs> the humble die. So we could go ahead and do Who's that. Who's the most humble of them all? Dear That's how this power, works. Who is the most humble? Oh, 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 oh no, rolling. not me. It's, it's not me at all. It's, it was cock rolling. Uh, so I'm going to start with five cards from the deck. Eric's going to start with six. David's going to start with seven. Dustin's going to start with a full oh, wow. hand of eight. Hell yeah, I am. You're all fucked now. Have you shuffled these? Yes. Okay. Because sometimes you don't, and then... That's true. And then that's... And <laughs> then it's not good. Well, I start with five? Uh, I start, I, you start with six. Six. One, so, two, three, four, uh... Five. So that's worker placement. It's very simple. You place a worker, you get whatever the thing says you get. Uh, your next option is playing a card. When you play a card, you can either play a card from your hand, or you can play a card from the meadow, which are these eight cards that are on display in the middle here. Mm. Uh, to play a card, you've got to be able to pay its cost, which is going to be on the, the left side of the card here. Let me point to a card that play, people can see. Uh, so... There's critter cards and there are construction cards. Critters are typically just going to cost berries. 
Construction is going to cost the other three types of materials. Oh, shit. And they, uh, have, things. And they have different, yeah, there's different types of, of uh, cards that are at play there. Uh, five different, basically, classifications for these cards. There's the Tan Travelers. These cards are going to activate the second you play them, mm. and then they're never going to activate again. Oh, boy. Uh, uh-huh. The green uh, production cards are going to activate the second you purchase them, and then they're also going to activate during season preparation for spring and autumn. We'll get to that in a little bit. I... Uh, so they, those will activate again, basically, is, is all you need to know right now. The red destination cards... Let's go ahead and zoom in there. Thank you. Well, that was an out, Kyle. Check. That was an out. I know. I know. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so the uh, the red destination cards give you other places that you can send workers to. Uh, so, like, this cemetery's got little paw prints on there. You could send a worker to that card once it's in your city. Some of these red destination cards will also have a little open sign on them. That means that other players can send workers to that destination card. If they do, you're going to get a point token from the supply. And these are in our place, right? Yeah, these are once they're played in in your city in front of you. Okay. Uh, So that's the red destination cards. There are these purple uh, prosperity cards. These are worth extra bonus points at the end of the game, and that's about it. All these cards are also going to be worth points at the end of the game based on Mm. that little sun. So those aren't costs, they're points. Those are, yeah, that's, the costs are on this side. Okay. And then uh, the the points are there. That's what it's going to be worth at the end of the game. And these cards are also going to give you bonuses based on what other cards you have in your city at the end. Mm. Uh, There's also nothing in the display right now, but some blue cards that have like a little this symbol up here. Little scroll. This little scroll here. Uh, Those are governance cards, and those are going to give you bonuses or discounts on other cards that you need to play, basically. So those those are those work like? Once they're in your city... Then oh, then every other time. cards that you play will be affected by gotcha. what's cool. What text is on those cool. cards? Cool, love it. Uh, I'm already intrigued. There's a lot of different. So those, yeah, cards. those are the those are the five different types of cards. When you play a card, you can pl- you pay its cost, which is on the left side, right. and then you can play it to your city, either from your hand or directly out of the meadow. If you play a card from the meadow, you immediately replace it with a new card from the deck. If uh, there are there are rare circumstances where you'll be able to draw a card from the meadow rather than from the deck. Mm. When you do that, you finish drawing cards before you replace. Got it. Uh, critters can be played without having to pay their cost. That is indicated by this little placard up in the top left corner. That says, basically, if you have the storehouse in your city already... You don't have to pay the cost <clears throat> to play the wood card. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, there is a limit on cards that you can have in your city. Uh, first off, all of these cards are classified as either common or unique on the little text right there. That's a common critter. Common cards, there's no limit to the number of copies of that card you can have. So you could play seven different I think there's only three or four copies but in the deck, but uh, common critters, no limit. Unique constructions or unique critters, you can only have one copy. Oh, so it'll say unique? Yeah, it says it, it says it right underneath okay. the, the name of the card. So one unique in your whole One town. unique of each type. type I'm going to take card. an umbrage yeah. with this because it says unique cool. construction, but I tell you what, there's two cemeteries there. I know. That is there's, not unique. There's That's not the meaning three, of that card. Three or four of each card <laughs> in the deck, I believe. Okay. Uh, but you can only play one copy of each unique So they're not card. unique, unique. They're unique to your unique city. Unique to your city, exactly. Good to know. I know I was making a joke, but yeah. that's also <laughs> legitimately worth knowing. Yeah, yeah. So this, the bottom, that's if there's this a... This is locked. <clears throat> yes. This guy will unlock it. 
Yes, yeah, precisely. I just that little that guy. says that there. Uh, yeah, it says it on the Undertaker card. You can unlock the second cemetery. Yeah, if they've got cards that got pair them. with them, they usually yeah. will tell you on them like this. If, if you see this one, there's going to be a lot of synergies at play with all of yeah, these cards. Yeah, because like this is telling yeah. you that card. The Undertaker is at the bottom. Oh, it's here. got that. Okay, yeah. that yeah. makes a lot more sense. So, so like, this, how are you supposed to? Right. So, uh, so like to play the Undertaker, you can skip this cost if you've already got the cemetery in your right. city. When you do that. You're gonna cover the Undertaker icon on the cemetery card with that occupied token to say, I already played an Undertaker with this cemetery. So even if you lose this Undertaker later on, you oh, won't you be can't able do to it again. do it again with the same mm, cemetery. And that only works once. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh and there is a limit to fifteen cards in your city at a time. Uh, I don't believe you can... Eric, maybe you know. Can you discard cards from your city at will? Uh, I think you can replace any of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're, there's a limit of 15 cards at play in your city at a time. Can you um, let the dog out? I don't know how we're going to play 15 cards in front of us. <laughs> Poorly. <laughs> the the rulebook says re- recommends three rows of five cards. That is going to take up a lot of table space. I'm so. going to do one co- row of 15. And there I don't you care. go. <laughs> I don't care what I have to get it. Move out of the way. Uh, but I think that's the, the gist. Oh, and then uh, so on your turn, you're going to get to do one of those two things. Either place a worker or play a card. Uh, if it's your turn and you don't have the means to play anything else uh, or you don't want to play anything else, then the last possible action you can take is prepare for the next season. When you do that, you'll take all your workers back from the board. Then you're going to look up at the tree, up at the tree (laughs) uh, for the next season. We're starting at the end of winter. So the first season preparation you're going to do is going to be spring. You're going to claim your new worker to add to your supply. So we all start with two. You're going to get a new one at the end of the season. Uh, and then you're also going to get whatever is printed on the, the icon for each of these seasons. So in spring, you get a worker, and then you get to run all of your production cards again. So all of the I green... The gotcha. Yeah. So all of the, the green cards that you've got in your city at that point in time, you'll get to activate those again. Okay. Uh, when we get to summer, uh, you're going to get another worker, and then you're going to get to draw two cards from the meadow mm. to add to your hand. Oh, also, hand size limit is eight cards. If at any point you're supposed to draw cards, but you have eight, you just don't draw cards. So you don't discard mm. to make space? No. Okay. And if... Uh, at any point, you're supposed to give cards to other players. They have to have room in their hand. You have to choose players that have room in their hand, and then you mm. and then you discard anything you can't mm. that they don't have room for. Uh, okay, so uh, for summer, you get a worker and you get to draw two cards from the meadow, and then for autumn, <clears throat> you get two workers and get to run production again, as well. Cool. So. Once we get to the last season, we're going to have a total of five workers to work with. And lastly, the journey spaces down here are only available in autumn. Uh, You place a worker there, you discard the number of cards on the space that you're placing that worker on, and you're going to get that many points when we get to scoring at the end. Card count, not point value of cards. Card count. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, and that haven is also that's that's open to anybody all game long. That one, discard any number of cards from your hand to get one resource of your choice for every two cards that you're discarding. Okay. okay. Of your choice, not of each. Of your choice. Thank you. Uh, when you discard cards, you put them face down right here. The discard pile is always face down. We reshuffle that when the deck is depleted. Cool. Uh, now, you're going to prepare for a season when you don't have anything else you can do in the current season. But 
That doesn't mean that your turn gets skipped for the rest of the season for other people. We all keep taking turns and playing until you get to the end of autumn for you. So it's like we're all doing our own game that that is like not taking into account the timeline for everybody else. Okay. That's really weird. And it I is kind of weird. What that means. It is okay. kind of so weird. So we don't that simultaneously you move be... forward to the season. Yeah. No. I, I'm probably going to advance to spring before you guys because I suck at games. So. <laughs> How do you advance again? You run out of workers. When, you're, and you yeah, when you don't have anything else you can do, you're going to prepare for next season. Gotcha. So highly possible, highly likely that somebody's going to be preparing for spring before everybody else needs to prepare for spring. Gotcha. I see. Uh, yeah. And you just keep taking Makes turns and keep sense. playing until you get to the end of autumn, and then all your turns get skipped until everybody has gotten to the end of autumn. Gotcha. Then okay. we'll tally points. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, I skipped I skipped over talking about events. Uh, events are basically achievements. Only one player can achieve each event in the game. There are four basic events. There are these guys that are along the riverbank. There's the Cartographer's Expedition. Uh, for that one, you need to have three traveler cards in your city. And then you send a worker to that if you've met that requirement, and then you get to claim this token for three points at the end of the game. Mm, cool. Uh, same thing here. This one, the Harvest Festival, you need three production cards. The Grand Tour, you need three destination cards. And the City Monument, you need three governance cards cool. uh up in the tree branches there are four special event cards oh, shit. they work the same way you send a worker to them and then you get to claim them if you have met the requirement let's see what all of our four special events are remembering the fallen for each buried worker in your cemetery cemetery you score three points at the end of the game <laughs> wait so that's you can just claim that whenever the fuck, right? Wild. What? And then and then work towards getting points from it by the end of the game. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Path of the Pilgrims. For each worker in your monastery, you're going to score three points. Similar thing. Performer in residence. When achieved, you may place up to three berries here. And for each berry on the event, you're going to score two points. I think that at the top of it, it tells you what the requirements is because this one requires Undertaker and. Oh, yeah. okay, that say, makes like, a lot more no sense. There's no requirements on any of these. We just, yeah, yeah. I think okay. at the top so you, you have need to, to like, you have to have some things. So this one you need an Indian Yeah, you're bard. right. You're right. That makes way more sense. <laughs> cool. Uh, and then that last one, you have to have the Undertaker and the Barge Toad. Uh, What's that say? Croak wart cure. When achieved, pay two berries and discard two cards from your city <laughs> to get <Same>. six <laughs> points. Uh, okay, and then uh, real quick, why don't we take a look down at our four forest destinations? This one's going to get you two berries and you draw a card from the deck. This one's gonna get you one twig, one resin, one berry. That one, you can copy any basic location and then also draw a card. What? And that one, you'll draw two cards and then take one of any resource of your choice. Yeah. Cool. And I think that's the gist. Mm -hmm. uh, I drank my beer real fast, so I'll be a little drunk to give, oh, you, yeah. give you all some, some like catch it. up. Thanks, thanks. Nice advantage. It's not because I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I think that covers everything. If anybody has any questions, fire away. Eric will answer them. <laughs> so there's not a there's not a um, cheat card for what you do on a no table. reference card. Okay, which is upsetting. Either placing this guy be. somewhere or placing a card somewhere. Uh, let me see what cards what you can do with resources. Yeah, and you only get to do one. Yeah, per turn. Yeah. We'll go. Bop, 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 yep, 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 yep. This is good. What is there? Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, so I want to work towards that. 
How am I gonna get that? You're not. You should give up. No, we don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I, we well, can't answer you. I could because he always fans his cards in a way that I can see them. <laughs> if, if I don't see, that's why I don't look at him during the show much because he's always got his cards it's just like that's smart, easy for it's me. If I want to do that, how I mean, am I gonna? That's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm afraid of my feelings. <laughs> I mean, that's also great. Stones are hard to come by, though. Uh, well, I think what I'm going to do is, oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to send a worker here, and I'm going to get this, that, and the other thing. Who's playing what animal? Oh, that's a good question. What do you got? I got squirrels Um, in my pants. I'm a hedgehog. (laughs) That looks like he's wearing a hat. Hell yeah. I think I'm some sort of little mousey fella. I think you're I think you're mice, yeah. Like a field mouse. Yeah. Kinda kinda guy. He looks like he would run well. I'm a goddamn turtle. Actually, you know what? Let's... I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna grab That's the... who I am. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> I'm gonna grab three woods there. That's my turn. Nice. David. David's up. Okay. Um what do, you, what do you need three wood for? What do you He's need that? Probably gonna build a building. What do you need that for, though? I don't know. They are tasty, those twigs. So I don't. He might be eating them. Yeah. I got a frog that like sucking on them. Okay. You son of a bitch! You ruined everything. <laughs> Butcher. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get two twigs. And that's a draw from the Correct. middle, right? Or or, uh, here. or or there. Which which one, it's, sorry? It's either or. That no, that's draw oh. from the deck. Okay. Oh, it's always the... it's always draw from the deck unless it specifically says otherwise. Oh, okay. And I think the only place that I I mean, there's probably some stuff on cards that'll let you do it. But the only place that's visible right now is from summer. What? Oh, it's got the grass. T- oh, it's I see that. I didn't see that grass before. Okay, that makes more sense. It's the stoner cards. I'm gonna still do that. I'm just gonna wait. I can't. Hold on. Right. Yeah, you have too many, you have too many right. cards as it is. And what's the so order? Do, do it and just not draw a card. A, can I play a card first? <laughs> uh, <laughs> playing a card is a separate action. That's your whole turn to play a card. If you have so a card I can't that play you can a card play without and then a resource. Place a worker? No. no. Okay. Placing a worker is your whole turn. Or playing a card is your whole oh, turn. Oh, it's one or the other. Yes. There are three actions. You can choose one of them. Gotcha. I thought I performed. I think you should just skip this season. It's one I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, you should just prepare just for to collect <laughs> summer or spring. From right? my... Actually, prepare for spring this turn. Prepare for summer next turn. Yeah, and then you can take one of the cards from the... Well, no, you can't. Because you'll still have eight cards. <laughs> Bing bong. But you I don't need the cards from cause... the meadow in your hand because you can play straight from the meadow. I don't have any resources. Well, get some fucking resources That's what then. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck to do. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go here... Even though I can't draw the card, but I'm gonna get the two two berries. berries. Yeah, that's two berries ain't bad. Oh yeah. So that's my entire turn. Two berries. Yeah, that's what happens. Love it. That sounds like a pretty good turn. I mean, it's it's two more berries than I had. So quit talking about your berries. (laughs) It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. (laughs) Hey yo. Oh, and that the track gives you points. Oh, oh, oh yes. You get, you just get a point from that one. Uh oh, what kind of point? Oh, it is a victory point. Hey, Tony. Thanks for that subscription. Appreciate okay. you. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna get a rock and then two cards. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna grab these two resin. Don't though. I did though. Why? Because I wanted to. But that's dumb. 
We'll see how dumb it is when I win. Wow. He's got a fucking point. He's so fucking rude. He's got a fucking point. In his fucking head. (laughs) Ayo. Oh my god, I need to start buffing Nerf. You're right. I was dropped a lot. (laughs) Hey, chat. (laughs) Thanks for calling me out on that, Tony and Danica. Uh, over on the left-hand side of your screen, you may have noticed a meter. At the top of it, it says buff. At the bottom of it, it says nerf. And in the middle are a pair of beer mugs. Neil the Tavern Bot is going to start spamming the chat right now on information on how you guys can move those beer mugs up or down that meter using your meeple monies, which are our Twitch channel points, your resubscribe messages, your bits, your stream elements, cash donations, however you want to do it. And anytime you do anything to... Uh, what happened? Oh, he, he I did the I spot see. that gotcha. should do another yeah. spot, and he chose the three wood spot and Very a nice. car. Very which nice. is honestly Very nice. a better Look. move, a better play than I did. <laughs> what yeah. spot lets you do another spot? This spot. This one. And there are four. Copy one for of us. these and draw a oh. card. Cool. Uh, anytime you do anything to support this channel in any way, Neil is going to pour a little bit of extra beer into the big beer mug underneath that meter, like he just did. And once that beer mug is completely full, we will roll our custom 3D printed buff and nerf dice for a house rule that will help or hinder one or all of us. Uh, while Dustin's thinking, David, would you mind doing the honors for a little example? Habit your back! Habit your back! Number nine. Uh oh. Oh, David. <laughs> David Why did you nine. do that? I just, don't know. It could be good. It could be bad. This is just an example of what could happen. It and didn't will. happen yet. It's gonna happen. Yeah. It would have been a buff. David would have just gotten two points right now. No, fuck that. I'm not gonna let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Undo it. Roll Undo. It. Undo. <laughs> Do it again. That one doesn't count. Roll it again. <laughs> Shit. Every time it doesn't come up, me is an example. <laughs> Paying two berries. Why would you do this? Because we need a shop in my town. We ain't got. We don't even have, have a shop. You just have a shopkeeper. Oh yeah. Well, he, he he's got a cart. You don't see it, but it's there. Uh huh. He's a traveling Takes time shopkeeper. to set up the shop. I put the card where it makes sense to put it. I'll move the camera. <laughs> That's fine. Just give me as much room. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> All right. You done? Um, You're, yeah, you have to be. Does this count as playing a critter? I'm, Does I'm it count for it. itself? I, don't I doubt it, but think no. so. I would assume that's anything that I have. There's already a little been, index in here. Let's yeah, see. Don't shopkeeper you. is not there. It is. Do not gain a berry for playing this shopkeeper. Cool. I'm glad that they called it out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's my stomach. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I so too, he, too many brownie. Uh, you got brownie cookies over there. Oh, yeah, we can pass those around. Okay, it's okay. Uh, not much, really. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that they were a share thing. <laughs> I've had one already. Me too. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I definitely only ate one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I have? I have one of each. I'm going to play this mine. No. Yeah, but I like did, though. Only no. the mine. A mine. Uh... Oh, and I gain a, a rock for playing it. That you do. So, there we go. I did it. Why is that so out of focus? Holy shit. <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. That's my turn. All right. Well. For my turn, I'm going to take two wood and a resin. I'm going to put these back. And we're going to build ourselves a farm, which is going to get us a berry. Oh, he's dead, love it's a nice old farm. I suppose I've seen the... I've seen the... <laughs> I'm gonna spin the little... Uh, the rock. And see, see if I'm building myself a... a, a crane. <laughs> Bing bong. Thirsty. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get... Twigs and draw a card. Don't do that. I can't. Why would now. you do this? Why have you done this to us? You That's You played a card just so you could draw one. Yeah. <laughs> uh cool. So for my turn, 
I'm just gonna take this minor mole. Put That's good. Minor moles are better into than into my you know, city. Major moles. Uh, I get to copy one production effect in another person's city, so I'm gonna gain a berry mm -hmm. from your farm. Okay. Thank you for replenishing that. Interesting. Okay. That's your turn. I might take this gatherer. How? Because I have a farm. Can you just take it? Yeah. Because I have a farm. That's why I no. took. That's I did the same exact thing. This. I wasn't paying attention to your See, turn. Oh, like, I gotta put this. Like your shopkeep. If a shop comes up, look at the top. You can just take it. Yeah. I, I went over that, this like no, four times. No, I thought you meant if you had it in your city, you nope. can play this without the cost. It is. Which is exactly what we did. Yeah. They played it though, because you can play either from I the hand the or from the field. I had the money. Mm, yes. I forgot you can. I thought you just did the pat. Okay. Okay. Listen, you didn't have one out that you could use it, <laughs> so it's fine. Okay. I just didn't know how people were taking things. So you did that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead. You can play shit from the meadow. That's why. That's why I told you when you were like, "Oh, I can't draw stuff from the meadow." I was like, "You can play stuff from the meadow." I know. By I thought discarding. that meant just like you pay the ability Which to use like the power. Oh no 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 no! no, no. Just play it to your city. Got so it. I'm only gonna pay two wood. Can I see that? I'm mm -hmm. sure you're right. Uh, when playing construction, you may discard the cr yeah, discard it and do that for less. So now you got yourself a. What is that? A theater. A theater. Theater. I am classically trained, as you've seen by my use of props. <laughs> the theater. The theater. What happened to the theater? Uh, it is also time to roll for what looks like a buff. Would you mind, David? Thank you. Three to Dustin. To Dustin. Well, oh, come shit. on, this I'll fucking guy. Yeah. This Poorly timed. Guy. Yeah, this guy. Ooh. What we got? What we Dustin got? may discard up to three cards to draw replacements from the deck. Oh, hell yeah, I got some shit cards. <laughs> One. <clears throat> it's a poor craftsman who blames his tools. Man, <laughs> two. Buff and nerf is Hey, still I was dealt these. I didn't pick these tools. Overzealous, and I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just It's just happening way too fast. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to. I, I may discard up to three, right? You may. Okay. You may discard up to three. I'm discard two and draw two more. And then, it, chat. and then I think it's your turn. Yep. Just what? You get a turn to too? No, we should skip it for a couple. Wow. Of rounds. <laughs> In fact, everyone should skip but me for the next couple of rounds. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god, Chad. I'm gonna start a prediction. You got 10 minutes to get those predictions in, starting right now. Who's gonna win? Um. <laughs> me. What? Take off the duct tape and check out what's going on under there. Yeah. Danica pointing out that, as I have said many times, this show is held together with 10 tons of digital duct tape. True. <laughs> True. Oh, that's on my worker. So Whoa, why, why are you yelling? Well, Sorry. calm down. <laughs> This is already kind of intriguing to me that we ha we have to make one choice per turn. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so fucking me real hard right so now. It's so much pressure. <laughs> fucking me real hard. Okay. Um, what if... What if I can't... I guess I'm just gonna have to prep for the next thing then. Yeah, if you can't do anything, then yeah. you are preparing for so next gonna, season. I'm gonna prepare for next Wait, season. Wait, can't you pull back a worker? Isn't that an option that you no. said? No. Oh. That happens when you, you pull prepare back for all next season. Workers. I see. Yeah, so I'm so gonna if go you can't play any cards, season. then you're preparing for next season. You get a, a new worker. worker. Oh, yeah. Uh, you'd run production, but you don't have any production cards. Boo. You get your existing workers back. Oh, and yeah. who tracks what season he's on? 
Just the fact just that the we can see his work yeah, account? Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, and that's Dustin's turn. Because I don't mm. know if he's trustworthy. I don't either. Actually, I do. I know that he's not. Chat, I'm putting it all on the line. I'm putting 5,000 meeple monies on myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up. Yeah, so if I don't win, it's going to be a big payout. For somebody. Yeah. He's the safe bet because he's played the game before a few times. Is this not a game where beginner's luck plays a big part? No, I mean, don't know. Let's go down on Eric. Uh, What do I have? I have a stone, I have two berries. (laughs) Why'd you arrange them like that? What do you mean? (laughs) Yeah, you grow up. (laughs) What the hell? I just look. We're, I, we're twelve. It's not my fault. <laughs> Grow up, Kyle. I'm gonna play this crane for a lot. <laughs> One hangs on. <laughs> it's okay. I did that earlier with my berries and my turtle, so just I didn't call it out. <laughs> All right. Is it Chat mine? saw it though. That was Chat. your turn. Uh, yeah. Cool. I'm yeah, gonna, that's it. I'm going to play this Harvester, which gets to be on the... I gain one if it's paired with a Gatherer. Uh, and you have at least one farm in the city. Now... And they get to go together. Now, how do you get to just play that? Because its cost is either three berries or having a farm. But you, you already, already use the farm. The farm oh. oh, yeah, you have to put this on it. Yeah. So, okay. Pow. But I, so you're trying to win by cheating. That's what I see right here. You're trying to trying to win. That's this how we won against He's trying to win this bet by cheating, everybody. We gotta pay attention to this guy, because he's he's a problem. Fine, then I'll just take my workers back. <laughs> if you won't let me cheat, <laughs> I'll move on to the next thing. Uh that will activate the, I'll get a berry for my uh for my farm. For Fish, in my defense. Food. I did not intentionally line up my berries and my stone. <laughs> Dustin just called attention to it, and it made us all giggle. <laughs> um, Usually it's Kyle that cheats. That's a fact. Oh, you fucking guy now. I got 5,000 meeple money on the line. You yeah, know? but now he has created What's something that I don't know what you're talking about. I just got... We know this, this was deliberate. Nice pile of resources. What do you guys... What do you think that is? May I have a... Uh, I utilized my city blocker, please. Uh, yes. Interesting. What are you you doing with that bard? What do you need that bard for? Just to chill. I like the music. (laughs) It's your turn. I, just, I want no, to read this card. Turn. What is this? Wait, it's my turn? Yeah. Well, I did this. David yeah. played a bard. So. Oh. Hey. It's my turn, chat. Why didn't you tell me? You looking at that? Don't be looking at that. I'm just, just reaching and reading. I keep forgetting I can see what a building will give me for free by looking at the building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> By okay. looking at the space I would have to cover in order to use that ability. What's that? That's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> I need that. I can go here, right? Yes. Get all of these things. Mm-hmm. And that's my turn. Jeez, decisions are. Decisions suck. After seeing so many episodes of Phineas and Ferb, of course David can play a bard. <laughs> is it my turn? It yes. Is. I'm going to discard this crane. No. To be able to play a construction for three fewer resources. Uh, that means I don't have to pay anything to build this cemetery. Look at that. Refill this. So, anybody with two berries should really just play that Undertaker, because we know that's what he's going for. Or don't. (laughs) And fuck right (laughs) off. (laughs) 
That was basically a note for you. <laughs> so, as the only person with two berries. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Okay. So I'm going to place this guy here. <laughs> <laughs> I can give a fuck about him and his berries and his undertaker. I'll we'll draw this card. Thank you, Eric. Um, okay. Mm, okay. Okay, it's my turn. David, don't fuck with my Undertaker. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, decisions. Decisions. Uh, Well. Dabber Dabber? Dabber Dabber. Dabber Dabber Dabber. I guess... I'll move on. This, another guy, and uh, what do I get? Uh, you get to run your production, but you don't have any. You don't have any. Well, green, fuck green me. Green cards. I believe that's Dustin's turn. It's got to be. I'm gonna do two twigs. Uh, funny boy, because this is Everdell. Very pretty, very uh, popular modern classic worker place. What are you game. playing? Uh, I'm building a farm. Ah, I get to gain one berry. Not berry. <laughs> it's a berry face. Well, he's nonplussed. There you go. <laughs> That's the noise that a face like that makes. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a guy with a unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> I mean, if you don't see it, I don't know what your dirty mind sees. It's same like an old ding dong shooting some real weird yellow goo. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the clap. <laughs> That's an infection. <laughs> All right. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know. I don't either. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, oh, I remember what I'm doing. I'm playing an Undertaker, fall free, bitch. What a bitch. <laughs> I don't want that fucking Undertaker. That's dumb. I don't want that Undertaker fucking. Boom. Yeah. Whoa. Look at what I've done. Oh, uh, suicidal worker. I, Whoa. when I play this Undertaker, I get to discard three cards from the meadow, replenish, and then draw one card from the meadow. So let's take a look. See, uh, first off, what I just did gets replenished. Now, general store. What do I want to get rid of here? Well, let's see. Um, I think. I'm gonna make sure nobody else gets a cemetery. It's me. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's interesting. It was a kind chat today. I don't. I don't need to like yeah. invite their ire, but yeah, they're, they're in uh, the mood to be. They're buffing. nice to us. Well, we all know they're cowards. They won't nerf <laughs> us. Uh, and then. What else we got? Uh, I think. Oh, somebody's gonna fuck me with that. No. Who <laughs> was it? The Some fool? kind of badger looking. Oh, oh yeah. Just fool into an empty space in any opponent's city. Oh, and yeah. it's worth minus two points. Well, <laughs> that makes me think you can't just discard cards. I think you can replace a card, like you, if you like. If got you've 15, got 15, and then you pay maybe. for another one, you can replace it. Maybe. Them. I I don't know. I didn't... I don't remember seeing that in the rule book. What's my third card I'm discarding? Uh, I don't know how somebody can play that many fucking cards anyway, honestly. I do. 15? I do. I've already got four, and I'm not out of the first season yet. Yeah. How are you not out of the first fucking season? You don't well, have any more dudes. Well, I've been playing shit for free. Yeah, he had a That's couple crazy. free options. <laughs> He went to the Kmart, found the blue light special. Mm-hmm. Makes sense, makes sense. 
Yeah, we'll toss you. No! Okay. You're um, a monster. Hey! Fonny Boycos, thank you so much for that gifted sub. Appreciate it. Uh, so we got the storehouse, the lookout, and the school. And then I get to draw one from the meadow? Uh... Just take your turn over here. I'm in your turns the like process, 17 minutes. right? Every time. Oh. I'm already about to head into fall on this right? day. I'm going to take this one. Okay, now I'm done. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Jesus. All right. I am going to use a stone, a resin, and a wood. I'm going to... Actually, do I want... Yeah, I'll still do this. Maybe I don't want to do this anymore because Kyle... It's a little bastard. Because I just took the miner. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to put down the mine. And I'm going to gain a stone. That's my turn. All right. <clears throat> David. the part where you lose your worker forever mm -hmm. once you put them in the cemetery. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Yeah. That's fascinating. There's no more room there. There are four. No. There's only two. What? That space is only available in a four-player game. I understand now. Okay, thank you. It was a $20 donation, and I gotta see what that said. Uh, Tony says, call me a coward again, Eric. Nerf Eric, please. Yes! Ha ha ha! Roll Got that uh, number die, please. You're lucky I'm drunk, otherwise I'd be real mad. Number four for a targeted nerf for Eric. And you can then, just buy a nerf? Yeah. Yeah, these cowards. <laughs> And then, uh, and then we're also due for just a regular roll. Eric must discard two point tokens. He doesn't have any yet. Oh no! What a douche. I think he gets a minus two. I think what we do is, because that was a purchased nerf, I think we reroll the number die. Let's get a different. I'm for it! Let's get a different number. Seven! Seven, that'll be something different. Let's give these cowards their money worth. Uh, the next card Eric plays costs one more of any resource. That's fine. That's better. That's more better. Mo mo much more better. All right, and then we are also due for a regular old roll. So please roll both of those dice. Eight. Viewer's choice. Mm. Is it a buff or a nerf? It's a buff. It's a buff. Viewer's choice may discard up to two cards to draw replacements from the deck. So what Dustin mm. did. Mm. Uh, but we gotta start a poll for who gets that buff. Who gets that buff? Uh, we'll put one minute. Uh, two minutes is fine. We can we can keep playing. Two minutes on the clock on that poll. And Dustin's in the middle of his turn. Oh, I oh, Kyle is okay. the front runner, followed by Eric, followed by me, followed by 
And then turn around. We're getting to the front. We're getting to the front. Hey, with a run, I, I did limber up this time. I stretched, uh, did my hamstrings. I spent also on the quads. I and, spent uh, most of my meatball monies on that bet. I'm on the who will win. You just said it was a big bet. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm falling back. Oh, I'm catching up. That is not great. Oh, I'm no. catching up. <laughs> I need my Red Bull. Where's my Red Bull? <laughs> it gives you wings, I hear. Wow. Like nah, he's too it's much. It's been it's been a minute since we've had this much engagement in a poll. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That's my turn. Mm. Dustin, you haven't gotten a single. What'd you do, vote. Dustin? That's, that's sad. Out. I know, right? <laughs> I think I think <laughs> that's a bingo where Dustin takes an entire turn without telling anybody what he's doing. I did one. I put a dude and took a fucking pebble. Uh huh. <laughs> You're the worst. Sorry, I don't take 18 minute fucking turns. Look, I had a lot of things to do on that uh, turn. Well, right? Oh, yeah. That's true. There was a lot going on. Uh, you guys still don't want to vote one vote for Dustin. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, fuck you guys. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Man. I'm going to buy that. I would, wonder. but I, I, I'm out of meeple monies. Oh, I'm going to spend my two berries. God damn it. It's fine. Get in that pile. And I'm gonna buy this wanderer. You son of a bitch. And that'll let me. Uh, first off, this gets replenished, but then I draw three cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, never mind. I only draw two cards. Oops. Maybe I should have bought somebody else. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We'll figure it out. You get a worker. It doesn't yeah. necessarily need to be anywhere specific. Oh, thank you for the one vote. Hey! Oh! Ooh, a double buff! Me and David <laughs> both get Tied? to discard up to two cards and exchange them for replacements from the deck. Did you take your turn yet, Kyle? Yeah. Okay. So it is my turn. Um, how about... Anyways, we'll get ourselves some wood. Gather in that wood. <clears throat> That's my turn. Get gather in that wood. Get, get gather in that wood. Shasta. Day. Hmm. I think I'm going to toss. I need to reset the buff and nerf meter, my bad. You taking your turn, David? Uh, I have done that, yes. Okay. What'd you do? I... <coughs> went here. Aha. Uh -huh. I grabbed two cots and a stone. A stone? Swords for entry. <laughs> I'm gonna go here and get two of these. <laughs> That's my turn. Some people just cool. I am finally going to prepare for 
spring. Good. Spring has sprung. Uh, that's going to get me a stone. And then I get to copy one green building in an opponent's city. Uh, you can go ahead and take your turn, Eric. I'm thinking about if I want to take a berry or a stone. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question, Danica, Steel Neko. I'll look at it in a second. Go here. I think I'm going to take a stone. One resin and one heart. You build an inn? I don't know. Why would you do that? I don't like that. You don't need that. I don't like that at all. I do too. No, you don't. I do too. Oh, fuck. I like that people like yeah. to hang out and, and, and take Here's a rest. That. Get themselves a fucking, you know, bit of a, you know, something good. So I can just collect this? Yes? Uh, yeah. not yet. Not yet. Why did, what happened? When, you are in, in a bar? Yeah, you, you have to take one of your workers and place it here. Ah. Uh, and then you get camera. Why is that camera busted? What the fuck? Well, it'd be useless for me to do it right now, because I've got huh. only one berry, which should be fucking dumb. Alright. There's the mug. I'm gonna play this general store. What well, does it mean? We've got two uh, and I will get to gain one berry, and I if I have a farm, I gain an additional berry. So I get two berries. Bullshit. <laughs> We're berry selling. Town. What do you need with all those berries? That's all we do. We have a farm that makes the berries. We got a store and then a shopkeeper that runs it and sells the berries. That's all we do. Jam. Yeah. Then I guess it you says know, jam. Yeah, I agree. You shouldn't play any more cards. No, probably not. This is the entirety of, of my town. Uh. Sorry, I was dealing with technical issues and wasn't planning for my next turn. I like this, sorry. <clears throat> like it would have mattered. Buck, right off. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. This. Take a log, a resin, and a berry. Ooh, that's too many things. <laughs> You're too many things. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. By the way, the uh, the live producer position here at the Board and Barrel is open <laughs> if anybody's interested in applying. <laughs> we see somebody to sit. Move your, your bit boxes. They can just sit in the corner. Over there. <laughs> yeah. I theoretically could set up for a remote producer, actually. That would be funny. Do they just have a touch portal fucking pad? Yeah, right they'd have a touch portal at their home desktop. <laughs> and they'd be watching the us on a Discord call. And, and the peddler's going to pay one that for, to get me a resin. Because I can pay up to two of, of any to gain an equal well, amount of energy. The snacks command is way outdated, Tony. <laughs> Those are not the snacks. I'm going to pay a stone. A little hot dog. I'm going to get myself a oh, courthouse. We got... Little Parmesan cheese dog things. And Spanakopita. An animal cracker. Mm hmm. I've been doing a number on that. Animal crackers. Mm hmm. I would take a. The idea a that dog. any of you oh, think what? a dog. You're eating more than me is oh, yeah. laughable. Well, I did show up and eat a burrito too, yeah. so. <laughs> That's why I felt safe eating all the, the pigs in the blanket, because I was like, you ate a whole burrito, I'll eat. These are all mine. <laughs> Is Dustin's turn? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I've not been paying attention to what other people have been doing. We've noticed. <laughs> oh. 
Never mind. You're right there? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm gonna. Good job. <laughs> Mm. No, I'm gonna pay two berries to get a scattering in my town here. I need somebody to pick the berries. Um, I think that's gonna be it for my turn. What happened here? He's got to replace just it. Just, replace it. And just doesn't it. like doing it, motherfucker. <laughs> that's your job. <laughs> I can't wow. even see Castle. the deck from here. There's a tree in the way. <laughs> well, you're doing fine. <laughs> Interesting. God damn it. Bobby? Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I'm interested in what they're going to do with the reboot. Hmm. Of what? King of the Hill. Is it going to oh. be a reboot or a continuation? Continuation. Nice. As far as I'm aware. Well, it's it's going to be harder since isn't the guy one of the Dale? Dale. Mm -hmm. yeah. That he were, got through recording like half the lines for the season or something. So mm. I don't know what they're doing with that. Mm. Voice match is a thing, so possible. Hell, you don't even have to die. You just have to ask for any money. <laughs> no, for the you. <laughs> I'm gonna play this twin bar or twig barge mm. for a log and a rock, but then I get two logs from it. So I'm just gonna keep that log and take another one. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> That's bullshit. That's what. <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> And you know what? David is staring daggers at <laughs> he me. He knows that. I, I feel like there's something going on. That's, <laughs> that's what that face is. That face is, I don't know what's happening. Hi. But I feel like it's something. <laughs> Kyle's fucking us over something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump a season. What? And me over here just getting to spring. <clears throat> okay. Well... Just like me, I'm a judgy bitch. So I might as well have a motherfucking judge. Nice. And I'll take a blocker, please. Thank you. Oh, because you used the courthouse to do it. Yeah, because I built it last time, yeah? Ooh. I see. That's a good choice. I like your turtle judge. He's very cute. He's turtle judge, man. <laughs> <laughs> he moved to my city from your city. <laughs> no! He's sick of eating berries. He says, I shall take my legal expertise over to the mouses. We don't have rules over here, so I mean, it makes sense. You got nothing to govern. <laughs> a judge in a lawless society. <laughs> I have no purpose! It makes sense. It makes sense. I feel like that would happen in some post apocalyptic world <laughs> where some person would just pull up in, in a courthouse and be like, I am the judge! I make the rules! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you pay an extra resource for the last thing you built? Um, I haven't built oh, anything yet. Oh, she's biz. Okay. Was the last, yeah, the last only card recruited. you played? Mm. It, was, it was the next card you play. Oh, okay. It was supposed to cost an extra resource. As soon as I hmm, have the ability to do that. Ooh. Are you out of resources? No. Oh. <laughs> now I'm just a simple post-apocalyptic mutant country <laughs> boy. <laughs> yes. That's a few trauma reference, <laughs> not it? Sorry, I thought you was corn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Was it my turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I just want to make sure. So I am going to fucking take these two berries right here and I'm going to put them in that pile. I think it was just the next card, Tony. I'm going to bring in a ranger. Uh, as unique critter, uh, move one of your deployed workers to a new location. Unlocks a second dungeon. I don't have a first dungeon. <laughs> I'm going to move... This guy. 
Oh, and you just get to take another fucking worker placement action for that? That's some bullshit. Yep. Let me just double check where I want to move him to. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to move him here. And I get to... I'm going to copy this location to get a twig, resin, and a berry. Why would you do something like that? Because it was pretty goddamn efficient, and I get to draw a card. Wait, which one did you... That? That's not a basic location. Fuck. Scott, what? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about... It's not a basic location. Basic locations. Okay, well, God damn it. I knew that was going to happen you at some point. You didn't have to punch the tree about it, Kyle. <laughs> Down. Giants are invading. We've angered the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ass. Doesn't really matter where they go. Fuck ass! Gotta get right. them back up there. It's gonna take the three twigs. There's right? a turtle by the stump. Yeah, I got him. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Yep. <laughs> Our beaver dam broke. Okay. Oh, that's good. So you took lots of wood then instead? Did I? Draw a card? Yeah, okay. I don't think you did. I think I called you on yeah, your shit right. before you drew the card. Okay. <laughs> oh, but I don't draw a card. What? That was why. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's right. Okay. okay you just good. don't get to copy this. All right, we're good. Okay. So then that's my card. Cool. I'm going to spend a log, a resin, and a rock... To build this storehouse. I got a rock. He got a rock. Who can he grab? Uh, woodcarver. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is why I knew something was up. <laughs> My turn. He was plotting this whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna build a farm. It's gonna cost me a little extra. Oh, so some Hannibal cook. It's two resin and two wood. Build this farm, which gets me a berry. <clears throat> when I played the storehouse, I place either three logs, two resin, one rock, or two berries on this storehouse. I'm gonna put three logs on. No, I'm gonna put two resin. Change my what are my options here? What can I do? Oh, there's a mouse that's running around. <laughs> He's not oh, supposed what's... to be there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? That's not where you go. <laughs> <laughs> Silly little mouses. Where are we going to go? Right, Tony? That's what I'm thinking, too. A little too well. Hey, a little too well. There's very little strategy at play here. <laughs> it's really just... Ooh, if I play this card, it'll let me play that card. Without really thinking about the long-term mm -hmm. well, ramifications I'm glad of that. that you're getting all of those cards that let you play other cards. Mm -hmm. That's very nice for you. I'm very happy. Thanks. I planned it that way. There's no good reason, necessarily, that I would want to put off moving to the next... Mm -hmm. I mean, no. less turns... Yeah. Yeah, if you can squeeze anything stuff. out. Okay. All right. But so then I'm... I did it a little early cuz I thought this way I'll have more guys to throw down and you you'll all start pulling your guys off the places I want to go. Yeah, that's smart. Me. Yeah. I can do this Hopefully. as many times yeah. as I want, correct? What's that? No. You may discard. It's, no, only, it's only when, when I get you get it. it. It's only when you get it. From that point on, it's worth nothing other than endgame points and Well, towards... that was poorly strategized. <laughs> uh... And credit towards, like, events and shit. Fuck I me I do see and my moron there. face. <laughs> um, huh. But this happens whenever it happens, right? Yes. Whenever I... Yeah, blue okay. cards are triggered anytime. And this too, okay. Yeah. It's just the tan ones that, that only uh, trigger when well, you buy them. me and my goat's ass. I made a mistake earlier. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, guess I'm gonna pull all these out of my freaking back. And they're gonna hang out with me. And, and you're, you're gonna get this, and then you draw two cards from the meadow. Wait, we draw two cards when we go into that next one? 
I'll draw two cards. Yes. Summer, you draw two I'll, cards from the meadow. I can't see it because of, it's behind from me. the meadow. Or. Instead of oh, for, running production, meadow or. Oh, so I, can I get pick to or pick. Uh, well, I think you draw from the meadow. See, now here's the thing. Well, it shows well, both. Let me double check. Also, this I, could affect. In summer, you gain one new worker. There's no production, but green cards still activate immediately if played during summer. Also, you must draw up to two meadow cards when you prepare for summer, if able. Okay, then I'll then I'll do that. I didn't know that because I can't see because it's so. The, and me. then you have to replace. Replace after you finish drawing. Okay. Right. Cool. Which affects my turn potentially. Yeah. You want to put your workers back and... Yep. It was here. One was up here. Fucking... One was on that one, and I think one was on this one. Yeah. I'm going to do this. That's a bingo. As... <laughs> this is as a stone, because I can, because of the judge. Mm. Interesting. And it That's a nice ability. Crane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and that is now my turn. And then that gets replaced immediately. Dustin. Hi. So I'm going to go ahead and... This is an end game consideration? Yes. The purple ones give you bonus points at the end of the game. Hmm. In addition to their standard point value. Hmm. Play this harvester for free? That's bullshit. Um so gain a resource of your choice if paired with a gatherer and you have at least one farm I do. in your city. And they share the same space. So you put um, the harvester and the gatherer. Okay. Yeah. So you, um, so they count as one card together. What do yeah. you mean? Why? What? Well, the, the harvester and the gatherer, they share a space. They share a space. Oh, so I have extra. Okay, yeah. cool. I like. Okay, and I get. Okay, first off, I get a berry, so I don't forget this like I did last time. Um, from my shopkeeper, and I get to one of my resource choice. of your choice. Uh, oh. Can I do this? Do a what's that? Rock. I know I missed it. Oh, did, did I miss it? Play a Gain construction. One yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Construction. Yeah. And that is going to be my turn. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna place a worker on the harvest festival. But don't. And claim that. But what if you don't? Yeah, but I already did. But, but maybe reconsider. But that's my turn. <laughs> but what if you do that after my turn? What no, because I, I was looking around the table and realizing, oh shit, I should have done this earlier, and oh shit, you should have done this earlier. Well, I couldn't have done it until this specific moment. Did you play two cards your last turn? No, I only played the, but I had the farm for the, the second farm. You so. already had three. Yeah, but it's four. It's three. It's four. It's three. It says you have four. To have four there, dude. It's yeah. worth three. It's worth three. Oh shit! How about that? Yeah, I got that wrong in the how to. Yeah, Noob. and aren't you lucky? <laughs> yeah, luckily you have four. I have four, <laughs> yeah. so it works out. All right. Well, then I guess I'll place this guy for free. Can I have one of those shields? And then I'll get all out uh, a free thingamabobber. Uh, what do I want? Uh, do I want a berry? Okay. Berry. What do I want? Actually, I want. Um, yes. Take the stone. That's my turn. I'd like a blocker, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just line um, them up left to right. Oh boy! Well, because I have the space to do a seven and an eight. 
Sure. I Why not? Uh, let's roll for that. Baby buff. He did a baby buff. <laughs> He's a baby nine. buff. Yeah, yeah. Viewer's choice oh, again. Damn. I don't have the meeple monies to spam it. <laughs> spam it, damn it. Uh, viewer's oh. choice gets two points. Two points. Two whole points. A two whole points. Hmm. With the space modulator. I'm coming for you, Bowser. <laughs> it's like, I'm not worried. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We'll get that poll up for two minutes. Starting right now. You, sir, will never take my rolls. <laughs> is it? Is it not, it's not my turn, is it? It is. Because I put an architect down. Alright, so I'm gonna do. Do, do, do. Ah. One, one, one. Play this storehouse. Why? Because it gives me things. Uh, you get to pick three logs, two resin, one stone, or two berries to put on that storehouse. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Well, actually. Yeah. It would be broken if I could just discard every time. Yeah. We'll be able to do that. <laughs> Because <laughs> I could really just extend my turns, my seasons, Forever. quite yeah. a bit. Uh, I'm going to... Hmm. Move on! Mm-hmm. I'm going to play that woodcarver. Not move on. <laughs> and toss that for a point. Fuck you! Where'd the other one go? Uh, he discarded it earlier. You just discarded it? I didn't discard shit. Oh no, he drew it, that's right. He picked it up and put it in his hand. Oh. That pigeon's gun postal! (laughs) That was as much about denial as it was about anything for me. (laughs) Preventing him from getting three points. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Well, there you go. As soon as you put that storehouse down, I was like, oh, can't wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gotta do it now. Okay. Yes, yes, good, good. Gain a berry. What are you doing over Well, there? what I had done was I used a crane, I discarded it, and uh, brought myself a, a nice little general store. Oh, I get two points. Thanks, chat. And when I construct, by the way, I get to grab myself another resource. So, hold on, let me look at my things. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a a one of these. There's the. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, God damn it. Um, I'm gonna have to <laughs> fucking go to the next season because Kyle's an asshole. <laughs> So I get another work in. You get to draw two of these. You must instead. Yeah, they all fucking suck. <laughs> so if you need, you know, help picking them, just let me know. <laughs> I mean, nice to have a look at, I suppose. Does this work even with itself? No. Hmm. I did. The storekeeper or the shopkeeper? Yeah, we looked that up when he played it. Take this one.
And then I'm gonna take this guy. He has to have a, another, a different. Yeah, you have to pair it with a harvester. Okay. I mean, he's worth two if you just put him down. Right. But he's worth three if three you have a harvest. Yeah. yeah. And take this guy. Okay. He's a twig. twig barge. Twig barge. And a doctor. Doctor! Yes, doctor. Doctor! Okay. Okay. It's quite quickly. Um, and then that's it? Yep. yep. Okay. Turn, turn. He's a poker porn. Did you get all your workers back? No. Do that too. Take your turdies. Okay, yeah. turdies. Like uh, and I think I might want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to play this ruins card. To discard a construction from my city and gain resources equal to its cost, I'm going to discard my mine. Oh my. That's going to get me a log, a resin, and a rock. And then I get to draw two cards. Nah. That's my turn. I said, oh no, no, no. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna get two raisins. Two raisins. Two raisins? What'd you, what's that? The, the shopkeeper. Shop keep yeah. It's good. Dustin. Peddler, all free, using my ruins. Uh, I may pay up to two resources to gain an equal amount of resources. Basically, swap two resources for two other ones. And I'm gonna swap this berry or a log. ourselves to school. Why? Education is important. So is can, it? So you can build that teacher. Oh, is there a teacher there? I didn't notice. There was a school in the meadow, too. I know. There still is. Yeah. That's fun. Um, just to be a dick, I'm gonna use one stone as a berry. Why? <laughs> <laughs> He's winning! I don't know. I don't know this. You're, you're the threat. You're the one who's played. Draw two, keep one, give the other two an opponent. I'll see you first. First. <laughs> that tickles me, thank you. No, that's okay. The, the teacher honestly was less important to me than the actual school. The teacher would have been very fun. Can I do <clears> a rule book? Yeah. Yeah. 
Aww. Oh, thank you. Dustin, do you have room for that card? Yeah, do you have room for the card? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do! <laughs> Close. Interesting. <laughs> you just draw. <laughs> Oop. Uh, and that's, I mean, that's my turn. And. And. Um. I get a berry. What? Oh, that shopkeeper. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm trying to see if, do I have to have a card in my hand? Can I play a card from, like if I have the resources, can I play a card that's in the meadow? Yeah. Yeah. We've been doing it all game. That's what I thought. He said that at the top. You berated him for not doing that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) No, he was complaining because we were doing it for free and he was like, what the fuck? But we were doing it from the meadow. (laughs) Yeah. I can see a distinction there, though. If you're asking, if it's just for the, if you have the resources, yeah. pay yeah. for it yeah. rather than. Yeah. See, yeah. I thought the opposite. I thought you had to pay for it. You couldn't. No, so you can never. play a card from the meadow. Period. It's community. Right, but remember how Eric drank his whole beer before we started? <laughs> true, true. Yeah. It's Speaking of, it might be field trip time. Time for a refill? It's, yeah. Yeah, I'm not Well, it's Dustin's it. turn, so go for it. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Same thing if it's in there? Yeah, I'm sure there is another one in there. There you go. I don't know. Maybe. I think there is. Okay, I'm going to... Go here, and I'm going to discard four cards to gain two resources. And I'm going to gain one of these, and one of these. What do you need that shit for? All kinds of shit. I don't. You you wouldn't understand. That's my <laughs> special turtle shit. You don't. Yeah, you turtle don't shit. Uh, I'm going to build this refinery for a resin and a stone, and that's going to get me a resin. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Just <laughs> scoop back a little. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's quick, my turn. How quickly can I drink it? Great. I'm gonna put in a rock and a twig. I'm gonna give me the, this. Twig barge. Twig barge. Oh, I like that. She's gonna get you two rock. Uh, Sticks. Yep. And we got fairgrounds. Oh, Again. <clears throat> That's my turn. David. Well, hmm, is that worth it? Hmm. Uh. I'll spend these. Uh-huh. Oh, another teacher. And I'll get a berry. And it's another drawing. Give. What's this gonna do? 
draw two cards, mm-hmm. keep one, give the other one to somebody else. Common. Which means yeah. there's only one left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think there's three copies of each yeah, card. Usually. Uh, I have. I've yet to see the uh, the exclusive five cards in hand. King Dragon. Yeah, how many do you uh, have now? Four in his four. hand. I haven't wow. seen the King Dragon, but that's because it's Song One's like personal like <laughs> card. It's in his copy that they made for him. <laughs> what? That's funny. Yeah. Uh how many cards do you have, Kyle? Five. And you I have five. I have uh, four. And Dustin just discarded four, so he's down to four again. Thank you. And it's Dustin's turn. Interesting. Cool. Cool. I I, I'm really enjoying this game. It's a very good game. I like this game a lot. I wish you would have gave me that. Like last turn, <laughs> so you could have discarded it. No, I would have. I would have used. I would have not discarded something else and then used it against Kyle. Ah, sucks for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it whatever? I'm just okay. So here's here's what's up. Here's what's up. Are you enjoying the game because you're winning, Kyle? Yes, that's exactly why I'm that's enjoying how it. Goes. <laughs> I don't know that I'm winning. I'm just playing more cards than everybody else. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm winning. It's true. It's true. I'm going to play this courthouse. Cool. And I barely hit. Uh, no, I don't even have to. David's got the same number of cards as I do. Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one that's worth nothing. No, so do I. I. I have two that are worth nothing. Now your turn. Uh-huh. Ooh. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do this shit. Reveal four cards from the deck or discard pile and play one all free. And discard the other. What did Dustin throw away? <laughs> do I care? Nah, let's go for new shit. Mine... A mine. A clock tower. Mm. Another clock tower. Great. Mm. And an innkeeper. Uh, I need to see what these do. A clock tower. When played, place three victory points huh? here. At the beginning of preparing for season, you may pay one victory point from here to activate one of the basic or forest locations where you have a worker deployed. Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Mr. Murray. <laughs> and the innkeeper, when playing a critter, you may discard the innkeeper from your city to decrease the cost by three berries. I think I'll take the clock tower. What does it do for the chat? That's the one I just read. Uh, I placed three victory points on it. And then when I prepare for the next season, I can pay one of those victory points to reactivate a worker that I already placed on one on the board. Mm-hmm. Not on other shit, but on the board. And these all get discarded. <sighs> We'll go here and we'll get it Uh, It is a very pretty game, Tony. I I agree. And while I was a little irritated by the fact that there's so many premium components driving the price up for just the retail version, um, the, the game that is at play here is is still it's very good yeah Yeah. there's a bunch of expansions but i've only ever played the one that adds like there's like an otter shop like it gives you pearls that you can use to exchange for like different events and different cards and then i've played the there's a sequel to this like a standalone expansion that's similar but different interesting like that
I'm gonna go to the next season now. Okay. That was like two whole turns past where you thought it was yeah. gonna be. Turned out well. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to take two cards from the meadow. Mm-hmm. This song's gonna put me to sleep, right? <laughs> you don't have a whole lot of space left in your town, there, Kyle. Shut up! Just saying, brightest candle burns out quickest. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Shepherd Monastery. Um, I don't get any resources, right? It's just no. A... no, that's it. Yes. Okay. And I am going to play this judge for free. You would. I'm sure I would. And uh, since I played a critter, I'm going to go ahead and take a Mary. Cover that courthouse. Thank you. Actually, sorry, let's roll those dice. Me! Eric! Number one. Number one! Oh, it says Dustin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eric, take one resource of your choice. Take a stone. Uh, then I'm gonna go... Does that change your turn? Here. No, it's ha but it's helpful because it means that Instead now, of taking a stone here, you can take something else. Well, or now, take another stone. I can get an additional stone and then draw two cards. Kidney stones. <laughs> Woo. It's got a lot of resources to pull up over there. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never once had resources. Never. <clears throat> What are you doing there? What that end? What's the end get you? Three fewer resources necessary to build. Ah. So you just build a chapel. I built a chapel. Um, That's some shit. Yeah. It's pretty all right. I get because I did a construction to take a resource. Um. That's that's that. toying. Dustin. Yo. Um so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna copy this basic location. Two resin, I get a draw card. Yes you do. As long as turn. you don't have eight. That is my turn! Cool, I'm gonna prepare for next season. Oh. Oh no. 
Take these guys and this guy here, and then I'm gonna draw uh, two cards from the meadow. I'm taking the shepherd. Well then. And what else do I want? Not that shit. The school. Oh, that bitch gotta stay on your cemetery, huh? He, he dead. Yep. You don't get that one. I buried there. him. Okay. I'm alive! I'm still alive! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes. Help me! Help me! Fuck that. <clears throat> Stay alive. Feel happy. <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm looking at that. Does mm, that. Mm. That was your turn? Yeah. Hmm. You done wasted that shepherd, too. I didn't. Tell you what. No, I didn't. Because you were going to take him and I needed him. <laughs> I'm waiting the whole fucking game for him to show up. <laughs> Who? Don't worry about it. You have a chapel, dude? No. Huh? Fuck it. Oh, no. Yes. But I have a cemetery. Nice. Monastery. Mm. So I've been waiting the whole goddamn game for him. <laughs> and as soon as he showed up, you put down a chapel, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> My butt puckered! <laughs> then what's that? Chip sweep. Activate a green building in your city. Mm -hmm. Or a card. All right. Uh, may I have a victory token, please? What for? Why? I don't want you to. I'd like to put it on this. Eh. And then I would like to draw two cards. I don't want you to. I need to see what that card lets you do. Play a critter. Wait, what does that say? Oh. Place one victory point on this chapel. And then draw, and two, draw cards two cards for each. For each. each. All right. Chapel. And I don't have to burn the victory points. I, I need to look up, like, are the, the victory points that are on the cards... Worth I, points at I the think end? they're just tokens. No, because I like they are. with your with yours, you spend them to yeah, do they're stuff. Markers. Yeah, they're yeah. using just using them as markers. Well, hold on. You've got the chapel. Mm -hmm. This was yours. Uh, hmm, it doesn't say. Clock tower. I like the clock tower because it's worth zero. It's worth three. Any unless... points left on the clock tower at game's end will count towards your point total. That's what I figured for a clock tower. That's the... But it doesn't say for the chapel. What does the chapel do exactly? You put a point token on the chapel from the supply when you move a worker there, and then you get to draw two cards for every point token on the chapel. Oh, yeah. It it's... doesn't say whether those point tokens Probably are worth not anything then. at the yeah. end. Because it is worth points, unlike the... Uh, yeah, unlike the clock tower. Yeah. And you're getting cards out of the game yeah. every time you do it. Guess not. Justin! Oh, right. and hold on, because I did a construction. No, no, I did not that turn. No, you placed Excuse order. Me. Excuse me. Okay. So I am going to. Place this look out. I'm going to pay two logs and a resin because of my judge. I swapped out a rock for uh, an extra log. Nice. Um, that is a construction. I get to gain one wood, one resin, or one rock. I'm going to gain that rock. Um, and then I think that's everything I can do. Okay. My turn. I'm going to place this worker on the cartographer's expedition. I get to claim that. Cool. Uh, I'm going to spend two berries and I'm going to get this guy. He lets me draw three. Fuck you, Eric. And he doesn't take up a space. <sighs> How many cards do you have? Yeah, he doesn't take up a space. It looks like a, a lot of cards to right be here. able to three, draw four, three. Five, six, so you seven. only get to draw two. And this one will just be it. There you go. 
We got, we got ourselves an innkeeper. We got the wanderer shares a space with the gatherer. Is that right? Uh, the wanderer just doesn't. Take oh, he up just space. doesn't take up a space. Oh well, shit! I didn't yeah. notice that. That's nice. I have one more space. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my turn. Great. Um, can I have a blocker, please? You can. Thank you. Uh, right here. When playing a critter, you may discard the innkeeper from your city to decrease the cost by three. Um, because I played a critter, I gain a berry. Didn't here. I don't even remember where my guy was. Oh, he was no. there. So I would have gotten a twig or resin or berry. All right. My turn. I don't suppose anybody's willing to let me do that now. <laughs> After a full round, a full I think it's turn, a little harder no. to just Look, If it's like on the next I just turn, completely you kind of forgot. Uh, but I am going to use the clock tower to play this historian. Which will let me draw a card after I play a critter or construction. Would have been a lot more useful earlier. Because there's not that much more room for me to play more cards. Such is life. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That was your turn? That was my turn. Cool. I'm gonna, can I get a blocker? Because I'm going to play this uh, barge toad for Block. free. And then I'm going to get four wood. Because I have two farms. That's some shit. You need some help? Yeah, <laughs> I get this. <clears throat> I can handle this. Okay. Nice, Danica. <laughs> there is some sleepy piano playing. Just maybe not the same sleepy piano. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just looking at some things. <laughs> you getting bored, Dustin? I am tired. Sorry, bud. <laughs> you have had a long weekend. Um, I got up early today. I'll discard him. To get the chip sweep. Chip sweep? I forgot to tell you. And activate the teacher. Uh, so then if I can have two cards, please. That's some shit, David. Thank you. Uh, so this weekend, Dustin was out of town and I was watching his dog, his new puppy. Uh, and I told him... His dog was a, a, a sweet angel baby. Perfect sweet angel baby Which, all weekend. Oh, by uh, doing that. No, okay. she was oh, great. Okay, good. The cat, on the other hand, Oh, is I didn't an ask asshole. what happened to the cat. Uh, cat was totally, like, fine for most of the first day that I was there. And then when it was time to put the dog to bed, the cat was in the dog's crate. What? <laughs> she never goes in <laughs> yeah, there. She was in the crate. Of course. And I couldn't get her to move oh, for a, a no. few for like a solid 10 or 15 minutes. Gosh dang it. And I like finally ended up like shaking the crate a little bit and she's like <laughs> at me and yep. at the dog yep. who's like get all riled get up yeah, and trying like, to get in there. Get and, yeah. Uh she finally left. The dog went in there. <laughs> I went into my room and like took all my stuff and then I was like okay I need to go pee and while I'm in here I'm gonna brush my teeth and when I came out 
The cat's in my room, no. guarding me from getting Gosh, to the bed. It's <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> so, in order to get her out of there, I went and fucked with the cat feeder and smart. got it and That's got smart. it to dis- dispense. And she immediately yep. came running. That's Play smart. Cards, <laughs> I look at her every time. Yeah, <laughs> How many cards do you have? Uh, four. Four. How many cards do you have? Uh, oh, I have uh, seven. Five. <clears throat> Shasta. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So. Fuck. What? No, oh, I know it's it's seven o'clock. I'm work. I'm working here. <laughs> I'm working on building a city for woodland creatures. <laughs> no time to feed dogs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Ooh. this historian. Ooh. I'm gonna use a berry and a wood. What do you get to use a wood from? He's got the judge. Like I, I, I do. Judge. You can just swap anything. Yeah, with I guess I can swap one with one when I play a God, what critter. What a great card that is! Right, especially if you don't have stone and you need to play stuff with stone. Yeah, because yeah. stone is tougher to mm-hmm. come by. Um, okay, so I played him, and that nets me a berry. Jesus! Wow! <laughs> Insistent puppy. I'm out of here. Fine. <laughs> Um, that's the only bonus from a critter I get. Oh, no, I get to draw. Oh, no, I just played him. Okay. And that's my turn. Cool. I'm gonna go here and claim a couple berries and a card. Okay, okay. I guess that's fine, I guess. I didn't think you would be too upset about that. I'm not too upset. I'm a little upset. I ain't even fair. Livid about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's happening, but I'm <laughs> absolutely incensed. Uh, I'm going to take my people back. Enter the last season. I know you're thinking that's wild. And it is. But I get, I get these guys back. These no need to attack my people. And then, then you get to run all of your yeah, green. Which means I get one, two berries, um, a stone, I get yeah. two logs, plus I like... Hey, Board Game Blitz, thank you so much for the raid! Hello! How come there's only one turtle left up there? There's two mice two, two, and two He's squirrels. laying down. Oh, okay. He's asleep. That's why. There's, there's a good answer for that. <laughs> It's six. Come on in. Take a seat, everybody. Welcome, welcome in. We're playing some Everdell. Yeah, just not up here at the bar. Yeah, no, we're, it's crowded. Table. It's very crowded. I'm gonna turn. David bites. <laughs> you don't want to sit up these there. These two back. I'm gonna get one of these. We got these. crazy dogs too. Thanks for coming in, Raiders. What were we playing? Is there anything else? Why the fuck is he collecting so much wood? This is not. The, there seems there's gotta know. be a reason. Because I got a twig, twig barge and a, and a barge tr- toad. Yeah, yeah, but what do you need all the wood for? Is the I'm question. I'm willing to bet he has He's a wood a carver. House. He's trying to get out a wood carver at some point, um, because then he can pay three wood each to gain. He did uh, buy only, a wood only carver. up to three. He bought a wood carver. You only pay three, three. No, up to you three. Can, oh, up to three to gain one each. So yeah. even it's still, your turn. you get three. I don't know. Three I don't know. It's your out. turn. I don't know. All it's, right. Well, I'm and he's pay. already missed one opportunity. Like he's only got one more opportunity to do it. Gonna pay two. Uh, we get a carvers. Technically, I'm gonna Green keep one because I'm playing. No, a, but he hasn't played the card yet. Card guy yet. here. Oh, and so you get it when you play. I'm gonna match. reveal and discard. These are the two cards I'm revealing. A wood carver and a university. I'm being discarding discarded. the wood carver and I'm playing. Oh, okay. The university because I can. Um. Oh, happy extra life tabletop weekend. That's right. That was going on this weekend. Wrapping up the Tabletop Live Network marathon plan. And Hughes when and I Hughes. play a nice. construction, I gain a resource of my choosing. I'm gonna snag. I have yet to try Q's and Q's. I like Q's and Q's. I don't know how well it would play over the... Yeah. But it's a good game. <laughs> um, 
I'll, I'll, fuck it, I'll take a stone. Yeah, I no, bet no, you no, me no, too. No, yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take one too. <laughs> Fair one's uh, yeah, and yeah, and that, that is Since my giving them out, right? Why turn. That's me. Oui, All right, oui. Dustin. All right, so here's if what's it's up. your real name. Here's what's up. It actually, it actually is. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna spend uh, two berries and a, a log to make this here harvester. What? Um, which is gonna let me gain one of. Oh, ne- nothing yet. Because he's not paired. So. Yeah. So no, right. it does nothing for you. Nothing. Why would you play that? You fucking dunce. <laughs> I would take that back. <laughs> Way to be mean. I'm going to play that. There you go. <laughs> and you want your berries back? He still has to spend oh, the berries. Yeah. <laughs> That's a much smarter play. Good yeah. job. Swap it! Okay. Uh, queen! That's new. I haven't seen her. Play a card worthy worth, worth up, up to three, three for free. free. When Deal you place there. a worker there. Mm-hmm. Three... Wow. She cost five berries. Oh, it's not too many berries. Damn. Yeah, it is. It's kind of hard That's to get That's a berries. lot of berries. <laughs> berries are one. Uh, uh, well, I have not started my turn, so we'll go ahead and roll. Go for it! Number one for Me. Eric. Thank you. Uh, he just drunk enough. He doesn't need the help, chat. I do. I actually do. This will actually be very nice for me. Eric, take one resource of your choice. Again? Take a wood. This take a wood. fucking guy. Take a wood. Son of a bitch. Yeah, take a wood. You need more wood. You don't have enough wood yeah. here in this pile of logs. It's not rock. Resin. Resin? Resin? Resin. Fuck, man. All right, what am I doing? <laughs> playing a game. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm playing a board game. I'm gonna spend. Oh, I have to give three berries to somebody else. I'll take it to play uh, this. Ch- uh, I didn't shepherd my shit. Fuck you, Kyle. I'll take him. I'll take him. I've been nice. I hate that I have to give them all to one person because they're that's far more useful to that person than just I'll one to each I've been real yeah. nice. It's not going to be useful at You've all. You've been I'm giving sure. him cards the whole game. Yeah. I've been nice. Yeah. To, not to me, <laughs> but I was mean to him. This is true. So it'll balance <laughs> out if true. you give them to me. <laughs> so I'm saying I did what the room wanted. I should earn some berries. <laughs> Kyle, hold on. Plus I'm the guest. Oh, me. <laughs> 2 3 4 to ensure Nerf balance Eric. remains in the universe, a targeted nerf, nerf Eric. for Eric. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Roll the number die, please, while I waffle on who to give these berries to. I'll take them. Eight for Eric. Targeted nerf. Eric must discard a card. <laughs> You have so many points. I cannot give them to you. I do not. I don't know what you, you have. So, so many about. resources. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Here, have these fucking berries, oh, Eric. Right before his turn. I know. Uh, but I get to gain three berries and then gain one point for nothing because I don't have a chapel. But I gain three berries. Cool. Well, how very dare you? I know. I never. Um, so, my turn? Yep. I'm going to grab this card. Do you have a monastery and I, a wanderer? You do. I have a monastery and a wanderer. That's some shit. Yeah, a monast- oh, wait. A monast wanderer. Actually, I don't want this. No? This they're each in the... It's for- yeah, you've got to burn some workers on yeah. the monastery then. I don't want to do that. Instead, I'll go with what I was going to do, uh, which is go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
gonna go here and get me a resbum and two cards. You would. I did. You would. I did. In fact, <laughs> interesting. Okay, that's my turn. Wait. Well, I never. I never. 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 Well, except that time that I did. But other than that, I shall sacrifice the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> He was working for the post office, quite unstable. And thus, I shall gain berries, plus another berry, plus a victory point! Ha ha! Yes, it's a victory point, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke on your animal crackers. No, no, no. It's just, it was sticking to my lip. <laughs> so I was laughing. <laughs> This will be a really good look. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to look like walrus It'll be, teeth. A, be a split tooth. Or beaver teeth. Butter? Uh-huh. Cool. I'm going to play this innkeeper for one berry. Well, you don't have a berry. I get a berry for playing him. I also get to draw a card after playing him. I've only been living out here in the woods for a little while, but we like it here, I tell you what. And that'll be my turn. Yeah, tell you what, the living life out in the woods with all the squirrels, <laughs> the turtles, and the hedgy hogs, is, it's a good way to spend your time. You get to be out in the nature. You get to do a little bit of swimming in the swimming hole. You get to do lots of hikes, lots and lots of hikes, because you got to forage. You got to find different things like berries. You got to find some berries that... We got some berries today, and uh, little rocks, and we found just the little rocks, which you you don't want to pick up the big rock, because the big rock is going to take a hard time to get back home, and like I mentioned before, there's a lot of hiking, so just, you know, spend your time out in the woods, enjoy yourself. <laughs> this is why we bring David on the show. <laughs> Meanwhile, the chat is like, mm, I thought we were watching a board game. <laughs> Oh. If I wanted to see bad improv, I would go see bad improv. I'd go see Eric's Which is team. just most improv. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, place a worker on this event card. Give me a suggestion here. of anything at all. I heard pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird because nobody said pineapple. That's honestly, someone always says pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. I think what I will do is spend two of these woods, three of these resins, and maybe three of these stones. What the fuck what? are you making? Nothing. Did no you spend three wood? I spent two wood. Okay. I'm just making a castle. Okay. Oh, fuck. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, worth a point for each common construction in his Ugh. city. How many of those do I yeah, have? Oh, gee, he has no points, Kyle. I didn't say he had no points. <laughs> he had less points than the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, just for that, <laughs> I'm going here, and I'm placing three berries on it. Because I can. This is why you wanted me to give you berries. Of course, but I could only do up to three. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hoard them. I wanted to hoard the berries. Oh, have you guys watched Central Park on Apple Plus? No, I've not. Stanley Tucci's character, he plays this little old lady, and he's fucking great. Bitsy. That's <laughs> her name. Uh huh. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna play this harvester on top of my gatherer. It costs three berries, but I'm gonna go ahead and discard this innkeeper. Uh, piss fuck him. <laughs> um, and then playing that is gonna give me a berry, actually. Um, and gonna let me draw a card. And you each owe me five dollars. That's no, a dog. lie. You made that part Oh, you got me! You got me! I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Make sure you're pl you playing the game right. <laughs> uh, I guess that's my turn. Hmm. 
Um. Well, I have one slot left in my city. Hmm. Sucks to suck. No, I have two. Sorry. Monk for a berry. I'm gonna give Dustin two berries, and that's gonna get me four points. That's fucked up. Two berries for four points? Yeah, you may give up to two berries to an opponent to gain two victory points Ooh. each. It's messed up. But I'll take them berries. That's a lot of points over there, brother. Chicken Don't worry about berries. my points. There's, there's a lot of points over Don't there. Don't you worry about my points. I tell you, there's a lot more than I thought there were. <laughs> there's a handful more, and I don't know if stoked on it. Is that your turn? That's my turn. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Um, I'm going to spend two berries. I'm going to bring out another little uh, peddler, and uh, he's going to turn his... Two woods into two snots. A resin. A oh, resin. a snot and a resin and a thing. I remember. All right. Well, if the universe is here, I'm going to list the doctor. And, um, <laughs> I, were there words in there? <laughs> when, I've, when I've done so, I shall gain an the current kick at the same time. I shall add two, which makes a bottle for it. It's two, he's worth six. Damn. No, you just get victory points. What? You just get these. Part of the oh, oh, okay. Oh, done. The British Assize and fighting in North Africa. Oh, and it's you may pay up to three berries, so those go back into the supply. Okay, thanks. Nice. Ranger. Oh. Dustin had one of those. And can I have a blanket, please? What well, his proper name Whoop. is, I ain't heard. Around these parts, he's no strider. Are right. we talking about his parts? It's my toy. Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to play this guy, this post office here, for a wood, a resin, and a berry. So doing that gives me, if I can pick a wood, a resin, or a stone. I also, once I get to draw one card, oh, and I think that's it. Okay, I'm going to prepare for next season. I'm going to pay one of these coins to activate this guy again. It's going to get me two berries and a card. And then... I get these guys. I get. Are you in your final guys. season? Final? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I get to run all my greens again, so that's gonna get me a berry, a resin. Uh. Not eight wood. Wow. Two wood. Weird. Weird. Hold on. Let's, let's do this. Two wood, a resin, a berry. Uh. I may give up to two berries to an opponent to gain two victory points each. These will go to David. That's going to get me four more victory points there. Uh, And then... God damn, it's going to be hard to catch up to him. I may pay up to three wood to gain one victory point each. I may pay up to two of anything to gain an equal amount of anything. And I can copy one thing in somebody else's city. I need to copy. Oh, I could do that. That's an idea. How many farms are in my city? One. 
I get two wood. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, and I need to place some shit on here. Put three wood there. Uh, what are all your green cards? Draw two, keep one, and give the other to somebody else. And you can pay up to three berries to gain a victory point each. Uh huh. Which I basically already did with my monk. Uh, okay. I'm gonna. Pay two wood to gain two victory points. Wait. Yes. I'm gonna activate. Those are one for one? Wait, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me undo that. First, I'm gonna activate his barge toad. Gain two wood for each farm in my city. That's gonna get me two wood. That puts me at a total of four. I'm gonna pay three. For the wood carver, that's going to give me three victory points. And then uh, I can do that if I want to pay up to two to gain an equal amount of something else. Um, I don't know that it matters to me, really. I'll swap this berry or no, I'm not even gonna bother. It doesn't matter. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep it. Okay, mm. that's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna do that thing that I said I wasn't gonna do before. Oh, are you now? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this. Um, I guess I will move on to my next. Is that what I want to do? No. I don't think it is what I want to do. I'm gonna pay a berry and a stone because I can replace. I will get a berry back by playing a crit critter. He doesn't count. I draw three. And I'll call that my turn. It's on. I'm going to swap to that for a stone after. <clears throat> You're doing what now? That thing that I said I wasn't going to do, I did it. Or swap the berry for a stone. Interesting. <clears throat> it wasn't my turn yet. <laughs> huh? It wasn't my turn yet. Last time I didn't g retroactively do a thing because I had already taken a turn since. Hmm. This time I hadn't. I feel like that's fair. Oh, but it is real close. But yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess. Your green buildings activate again. Do you have yeah, anything? that's what I'm that's what I'm doing now. I've got a farm. I gain one berry. Um, I gain two berries from my general store. Um, I get to put stuff on here. I'm going to put three wood on it. And then I get to gain one of any and one of any. I'm gonna do two of those. And I think that's all my activation done. Okay, that's my turn. I'm going to uh 
Uh, hmm. Actually, I need to check the rule book on something. Oh my gosh. Because I have one, two, three, four, five. 13, 14 slots occupied. Uh, and I need to see if I want to activate the cemetery after having filled all my slots. Do those cards just get discarded? Like, do, or do I not get to? The cemetery, I reveal four from the deck or discard pile, play one for free and discard the other. If I've already got 15 slots occupied in my city, can I still put a guy there, even though I can't play another card? Hmm. I would assume you just can't play the card. When you place a worker here, reveal four cards from the draw pile or discard pile, play one of them for free, discard the others, your worker Yeah, you just wouldn't be able to play the card. Yeah, you couldn't play it, like, so why would you? I guess if you're trying to get cemetery end goals. Which I am. Yeah. But I have another card I want to play to take up my 15th slot. Oh, you can't not just not play it. Just not play the card. Right. If you didn't have room, that's one thing. But you can't just be like, I'm just not going to play it. I don't think. Well, I could right. do it if you I have could, but once yeah, but I could do the, the order slot. of events differently. Yeah. I could fill play a 15th card right Okay, now, yeah. And then do the yeah. thing. And then yeah. do the thing on my na- yeah. next turn. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's okay? Yeah. yeah. We're ruling that that's all right? All right. That's, that's going to be a few turns from now. Because first I got to do this. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, but I needed to know the answer before I <laughs> took that action. I'm going to place this guy in my monastery. I'm gonna give you two wood. Uh, can I have four points, please? Thanks. I probably still would have done that, but it's still good to know. That's my turn. <clears throat> How long does a game normally last? Tony, quit angling for bingo. <laughs> Tony! God dang it. I know what you're doing. <laughs> I think it's the right time for me to move on to the next season. All right. Take all your workers back, take these two workers, and then run all your green building or er, cards again. Okay, so let me have a berry. I'll spend three berry to get a victory point each. Is there a five over there? There's threes. There's threes, okay. Um Actually, there might not Seven. be enough of these tokens. In the so, um, I'll Get take down. a card and discard a card. Or draw and give, I mean. Uh, two? So it's two. Okay, there's one. And I can't fucking see. Oh, it's getting low, that's why. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Bless you. These board gamers are professionals. <laughs> semi, semi-professional. Let's. We gotta let's get paid way. for it. Uh, how many cards I mean, do you have? Uh, like five. You I get paid lot, in snacks. I watch a lot of YouTube videos at work rather than doing stuff. Does that count? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I think it. If I watch board game videos, does that make me? Um. <laughs> You get paid to watch those board game videos. I get Definitely. paid while I'm watching those. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, question. Yes. I have eight cards. So can I still do this and give somebody else a card, and then I just can't keep the card that I draw for myself to, like, try and blow at somebody's uh, hand? No. No. I have to be able to do the draw. Cause I, yeah, because I think you have to have room to draw the cards. What's the uh, teacher? When played and during production, draw two cards, keep one of them, give the other to any opponent that has room in their hand. See page 10 drawing cards. Uh, 
Don't eat those. Always draw cards from the deck. There's a strict hand limit of eight cards. You cannot oh. ever have more than eight cards in your hand. If you get to draw cards, you can only draw up to eight, no more. If you are so, I'd say no. I think it's pretty clear from okay. that. If you have yeah. eight cards, you can't yeah. draw. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I would say, in that circumstance, you can't even. You would only be able to draw one card. And then give if it. you've hold, if you've got seven in your hand. So then I should have only had one card this last time. And kept it? I don't know, actually. Whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Next time. But yeah, I, I'm going to say you can't do it now, because eight cards in your hand. Uh, that is where I land. Oh, yeah, because I don't... No, that's not the right kind of card anyway. That's me ready for the next season. Okay. Dustin? Um... I'm going to... So this one, this post office, yeah. if I put a worker here, I can give an opponent two cards and discard any number of cards and draw up to Oops. your hand limit. If I don't have two cards to give somebody, I could still run that and refill my hand limit, right? Uh, it's, it's out of... Right? Give an opponent two cards then discard any number of cards and draw up to your hand limit. Uh, yeah, I think you just... If you don't have two cards yeah. to give, yeah, you just give somebody what you have. Cool. I, I think. Okay. Cool. I'll check that. You must be able to give the two cards in order to place a worker here. That's fucked up. <laughs> It says it specifically. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should <laughs> say that on the fucking card then. <laughs> well, that changes things. I bet. <laughs> I was gonna do a fucking some crazy ass shit, but now you guys don't get to see it. So. <laughs> Five cards in my hand. How many have you got? Six. Yeah. Thank you. Let me double check. One, three, Why would you do four, this? Because they're shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you sure? I think I might have given the wrong card. Did you just <laughs> give him the palace? No, he has the palace. No, no he has he's the, got castle. the castle. Did you just give him the palace? He didn't. No. You're sure? No. No, I don't have the palace. Okay. Right, I'm gonna get rid of. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming there's only one of these, but these I don't know. Two. <laughs> only because we've seen most of the deck at this point. Right. Oh, this changes things for the better. Thank you. Thank you, Dustin. Why would you do this? Because fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna look at your cards. Uh, fuck right off. I'm just gonna look at your cards. Okay, that's my turn. Hey, well. What happens if you discard a card that has a guy on it? A worker? Anybody know? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I've played this many times, <laughs> so... <clears throat> ah, okay. It's answered in the rule book for that specific card. Imagine that. Weird. Oh. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do this. Playing the ruins to remove the ruins. I get nothing for it except two cards. That's my turn. Okay. 
Now it's coming down to like, what order am I gonna do things? All right, can I have a blocker? Because Dustin gave me a nice uh, m minor mole. So I get that, uh, activates something. What do I, now I gotta pick what somebody's thing to activate. Uh, what do I want? I probably want, yeah, I'll just hit Ugh, this is so tough. I'll just I'll activate the thingy and get a resin. All right, that's my turn. Fuck, okay. Um... Two cards that I wasn't able to get, and you gave me both. <laughs> That's stupid. It's like, damn it, Dustin. He's probably not going to be able to use these. Damn it, Dustin. For How could you do this to us? Because you got too many fucking points. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. I hope Eric beats you. Wow. <laughs> Thanks to your cards, I just might. Maybe that'll teach you to fuck with me, Kyle. I gave you berries. That's uh, only to benefit five yourself. Victory, That's not the point. What, what do you, you need? Five? Why do you need five? Because you discarded five cards. <laughs> Damn it, I was going to do that my next turn. <laughs> well, what? you waited too long. He went on a journey. Oh, that guy. Gotcha. Fuck! <laughs> David! <laughs> Good job, David. Ain't I a stinker? Alright, my turn. Yep. Alright. What's this one? Unique. 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 Shut up. Shut your mouth right now. Unique New York. Unique New York. Red you know you need. Yellow lantern. Swiss wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. <laughs> Guess my turn. I wish you weren't talking right now. <laughs> hey. Well, I guess I'll just take this one, <laughs> David. I know him. I know him. Okay. I mean, since we're all doing it, can I have three, please? Oh, uh, actually, you don't take them from the supply. You just leave your workers there. Yeah. Sorry. Give me your five back. Oh yeah, David. We just count that. Otherwise, we'll run out of tokens. <laughs> that was my turn. Well, biscuits. Um. Pretending to be a resin, and I gain a resin, and I put a thing so I get to grab whatever I would like. Um, I will grab. Fuck it. That's my turn. We're playing this. Oh boy! Let's roll for that. Which one? The blues? You got? You got? Yeah, three blues. I don't yeah. believe it. I got Kyle. Blues. Me. Aw. Number five. five. Aw. Johnny Five alive. You shouldn't have. No, really, you shouldn't have. Kyle's hand size limit is increased by one until the end of this. That doesn't ha -ha! Help at all. Good. <laughs> That's well, way too late. late. Hell yeah. It's your turn. The Contra remake. And I played a robot, and basically our influence was Johnny Five. <laughs> uh, our input. But thanks, mm -hmm. though. I remember the right. sequel to that a lot better than I remember the oh, original. Oh, I remember play the original much better. Three wood, a resin, and a rock. 
gets all punk rock. To put this theater down. How many cards? Another spot? How many? Yeah, that's my yeah. last spot. What? This one doesn't count. Baloney, I think oh. you don't. It doesn't. That's my last spot right there. No. I think you're actually playing with one less than all of us. <laughs> okay, my turn. I guess since Dustin was so kind, I will throw down a teacher for free. Can I have one of those blockers? Mm-hmm. Draw two, even though it doesn't move. Really yeah. Can I draw two? Yes, I can. Draw two. <clears throat> Draw two, give one to somebody else. Um, I have two cards, if that sways you in any strange way. I have this one. <laughs> Correct. Um, I'm gonna do this. Discard a critter construction from my city. Is that the right choice? It is. Yeah. It is the right choice. I'm sure it is. Whatever, whatever you do. Well, it was because he's unique. Um, so he's going. I gain three berry for his resource plus. What is this? One piece? A, yeah, right. A resource and a victory point. So I'll take the one victory point immediately. And I will sort out what resource I want. I'm trying to find an answer to the question that I asked already. Uh, Barry. Wouldn't be born in barrel if Kyle didn't come up with a strange use case that I no know. one has ever come up with. Well, no, there's a ton of people asking the question and a, no official answer, just a lot of debate. <laughs> uh, and that. You could potentially draw a card that doesn't take a slot and then play it and be fine. But if I don't, was I allowed to take well, the action says, in the first place? It says if you you can only draw up to your hand limit. So if you're at your limit, you can't draw. It's reveal four. It's not even draw. Oh. It's reveal four from the deck or discard pile and play one for free. Okay, yeah. But if my city's full, then you can't play one. Unless it. Unless can I still take put the worker there? You. That's the question. Not if it follows the same rules as the other card. Yeah, but you, have right. to be able to, you have to be able to draw. I just can't find a definitive think, answer to right? the question yeah. anywhere. Mm. Like that should be in the damn yeah. Kyle appendix. Big Hand yeah. McCarley. <laughs> Dustin. Yeah, it's well, your my turn, turn, bro. Oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I get David like a bust out those little buzzers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ones, <laughs> the ones where Dustin's never worked. Yes. They hey, got, wait. They no. got they got returned because okay, they good. were faulty. Yeah, good. Smart, smart. <laughs> they they made noises even when you turned the volume all the way down, which was upsetting to me. On the little re- receiver console, the only reason it worked for us was because I had it in a different room. <laughs> Five berries going down, putting a queen. Um, that's going to get me a berry back. Berry, come back. And I get to draw a card. Well, that's interesting as fuck. Okay, that's my turn. Uh, yeah, so what is the ruling here? Because I would like to place a worker here, but... If you can't do the thing, you can't place yeah, a worker. Think... Well, that depends on what cards get revealed, whether or not I can do the thing. Then, Because if can't... I reveal a card that yeah, but you can't, doesn't take a slot... You can't put, put the guy down unless you know oh, you can do the thing. Oh, that's an interesting thing. If there's potentially another wanderer in there, then but what that are the chances? kind of breaks like, it. There, yeah, I know. There's that's, three that's the wanderers thing, like, in the deck. Can I take the action there, there, if there I... are three out? Yeah. I mean, there, there could be... Uh, it's, uh, for my particular city, I don't think there's another scenario where that yeah, would happen. I don't but there's, see... Like, the... the the harvester and the get and the gatherer take up one spot. So if I had one of those, you could pull that. And I could in, pull yeah. one of those and put it. So that, that's where I'm like, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this or not. That's the problem. And I, I just can't find a, a definitive answer to the question anywhere. Uh, 
Sounds like a you problem. Yeah. But if we want to rule that I can't... I don't think you can. If, since I don't have yeah, the slot yeah. to play the card. And it doesn't say you may play one for yeah. free. Yeah. It's just play one. Yeah. Okay. Because you know going in that you probably can't do it. Right. Okay. Then I will... Can I see uh, the rule book? Yeah. Draw two cards... And take something. Do I have to make that decision before I dr- look at these cards? I wonder. Do what? I'm drawing two cards and taking one of any resource. Do I have to make the decision on what resource I take before I look at these cards? I, don't, I wouldn't think so, no. Okay. Was that the last card? Yeah. So we need to shuffle the discard pile. Resources aren't worth anything, right? I don't think so. Depends on if you have a card that says yeah, it there. Not naturally. Not no. naturally. Okay. Good to know. All right. Then... Guess what I can do is... Ultimately, it's a difference of one victory point for me on whether or not I could have oh. done that. Okay. Yeah, that's not worth... Can I have a blocker? Waffling as much yeah. as I did. Well, now I've just, I've just now realized... Motherfucking king. I've just now realized what my alternative is, and I'm like, oh, that's one point less than what I was asking about. It's fine. Thank you! Hey! Star Visions EN! Welcome, Raiders! Thank you, thank you for joining us. What were you playing? This may not. Does anybody have plans of drawing more cards? This may not even matter. Right. Talisman. I, I've never played that one either. I might I might just for the sake of it, but I only have one build spot left. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Blocker, please. Are you full yet? I just became, I think. I am becoming. Um, I gain a berry, but I'm going to activate my when doctor. I just got to the end and then died. We called it because the game was long but fun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Spend three. We are just wrapping this up, I think. Gain yeah. three victory points. What are you gaining three victory points from? Got to do it with the chip sweep. Oh, that's some shit. That's some shit um, right there. That's my turn. Never should have given you those berries. <laughs> you still have three left over. <laughs> <laughs> Is my turn? Yeah. I'm gonna go here to this queen. I I have no idea who's winning right now. Mm. Actually, I feel like everybody's playing really well. You think it's him? Yes. No. Yes. No. With the four four. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Four right there. He's doing real good. Three no. right there. Yeah. I have so many events. You do have a fair amount, but I just I, I do have, have a, a lot of cheap cards though, you're right. He knows what he's doing. And, and he's been awfully fucking quiet as well. <laughs> no. Does this play a card? If Eric's happy, you know he's probably winning. What? Does this play a card worth up to three for free? That's only from your hand or is that from here too? I think that'd be from the meadow as well. Yeah, that's anywhere. Cool. So I'm gonna do that. Play like this here. And then I'm going to draw two cards. Draw one card. Just draw one card. <laughs> cool. That's my turn. Cool. I'm gonna discard two of these cards to send a work there. Son of a bitch. That's a shared space. Oh. The two's shared. Three, four, and five are exclusive. Um, yeah, oh. it's closed. So the two is the okay. two is shared, so we can all send workers there. Cool. Can I have two more? We don't take them from the supply. Oh, we just we leave, just leave yeah. the workers there. Went to your panel at a con last year. Which con? And which one of us? I'm assuming it was <laughs> a Gordon <laughs> Barrel panel. Because uh, I do a, a very low-tech version of this show, very abridged with other convention guests nice. when I go to cons often. Where are you Dirt going con. next? You know? Very nice. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to do it or not, but I'm going to Anime STX next weekend. Oh. 
in San Antonio. Ooh. It says in San Antonio right now. Dustin, it's your turn. In case you haven't been yeah. aware. Um, and then I'm doing Colossal Con in Sandusky, Ohio in May. Hmm? Gen Con at the end of... That's we are going to go to Gen Con. We're not doing any programming. Galaxy Con, Oklahoma City you at the end your of May. already? I, I asked to. Okay. I can't yet. Like, it's, I'm on a wait list for Oh, it. okay. Because it'd be real nice. Because I was considering eye. it because... Well, because I'm already the the like whatever economy premium thingy whatever in the next. Yeah. But it's like uh, two hundred fifty dollars. I could be first class. I'm like mm, for a red eye. Mm, I know <laughs> both ways. Mm. One and and there's no layover. The the upgrade's only one way. Oh, I is think. it? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Both ways. Yes, yeah, it's nonstop. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't just guy. Yeah, but nonstop. So that's, that's, that's your last card slot, right? Yep. Uh, I pass. I'm done. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend cards in your hand. Just two berries toss to get this guy, and I may pay up to three wood, which I'll do that. Can I have uh, three victory points? Why? See, he's been very quiet. What? What do you it's need not... that for? I'm gonna start tallying my points. Yeah. All right. I, I will take a victory point indicator, please. And then I will need four cards. God damn it. Is it my turn now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to go here and claim this boat. Is this my turn? Oh, yeah. I should have looked around for one of those, huh? Oh, yeah. You did have three reds. Oh, I'm done. I already passed. Yeah. Are you done? Yes, I pass. I'll have to check my math, but I'm pretty sure I know how many points I got. <laughs> I love playing this game so much, but that is one full-ass table. That is yes. a fact, Danica. Holy shit. And a half. It's a good thing we have the side tables for our snacks. You ain't just Switzerland, Dixie. <laughs> I guess this is all I can fucking do. If you still have snacks at this point, that's a you problem, to be honest. Fair point. You trying to I eat mean, my toast? We've still all got right, my animal turn, crackers. Turn. Have we all passed at this point? No, no, David's still going. All right, I guess I'll check my math. All right, I guess guess I'm done. You're tallying point tokens. Event rewards. Uh, purple card bonuses. Regular card values. I think I forgot that. And then journeys. Oh, this is going to be bad. I don't know if I won, but I feel good about the game I played. I think I know. 
Yep. I believe I I was right the first time. We'll wait till Dustin's done, because we start throwing out numbers, we're going to throw him off. (laughs) Plus, it builds the suspense. (laughs) He's at someone. Okay. All right. I had 51 points. Hold on, I forgot my two. Mm. You had how many? 51. That's it? I had 46. (laughs) (laughs) I just thought you'd beat me by a lot more than that. (laughs) If I added right, I have 59. Nice. I only added the one time, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. 57. I only added one time too, yeah. Woo! 57. (laughs) Being wow. able to spam this a couple times was really yeah. useful. For me, what what I was really what I tend to go for is with the the castle and the school gives me extras for common uh, critters and cr- constructions. Yeah, so that's usually what I go for. I had a school in my hand. Uh, my issue was Dustin called attention to it. I filled up my city too fast. Mm. Uh, but towards the end of the game, there I had a school, a theater, and. Uh, whatever. Oh, the, the palace, I think, was the other one. Yeah. So I had three options for you're going to score bonus points based on the other cards in your city. Mm. And I went for the one that was going to give me the most, but it was pretty close. Yeah, I, I've had this king for a while, and I was really upset that you took one of the basic events. I got one of the special ones, but that wasn't yeah. going to be enough. Yeah. The university was super useful for me because I could cycle out a couple of cards. Yeah. Um, over yeah. over two seasons, I got Keep to replace, replace which cards. again nice. let me get the chip sweep uh-huh. back in to spam the doctor. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. happy that Dustin gave me a teacher and a and a, and a minor mole, which were the two cards that that <laughs> I wanted for like since like early on that have been gone this whole Christ time. Man. And I was, I was like, like, dang it. These I, shit, finished, I, don't need these. I finished three events, and I thought that was going to go a little further than it did. He would have if you had a king. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, the you get king. a bonus for finishing events. Yeah, nice. Ah, that would have been nice. I never saw that card. Yeah, it must have gone straight to your hand. Well, I've had this one, and then I had it. I got another one uh, towards the end. But yeah. uh, I would have buried another worker on my cemetery if I'd have had, if I if we had ruled that that had been okay mm. instead of sending a guy there. So it would have been a difference of one victory point. Right. I would have been at 52. Oh, yeah. Being able to spam this at the end, too. Yeah. 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 Oh, I forgot about those points. I didn't put those points. Oh, so then you a, won, didn't you? That's an extra five on top of that. That's an extra six, because you got two, right? You're, no, wait, no. Three you're and three. three. Got you. Yeah. Yeah, five. That's so five. you beat him. 62. Oh, oh this oh. fucker. Yo. <laughs> this fucking guy. Yo. See, and I already texted that I won. Now I gotta say, no, I didn't. I, didn't. <laughs> I was about to say, damn, we're really gonna spread those points. Does nice. anybody, do you know, Eric, why there's a D8 in this game? No idea. At no point I, was there a card that came up. I thought for uh, sure there'd be a card. I've never seen one, nor have I ever rolled one that I know of. I mean, I wouldn't be mistake. surprised if it was like it's for you solo. Can't decide oh, it's for right the solo game. Oh, okay, that's probably why. Uh, so that is Everdell. And that is uh, a sprawling uh, that took us three hours to play it with four players. Wow. Yeah, uh, not bad actually for considering like the scope of the game and how many people were playing it, and the fact that we're doing it on the show, three of us for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually thought it was going to be a lot shorter after that first season. The first season like, real three quick. Turns, and I'm like. I'm on to the next season. This First season is real surprised. Quick, I was surprised because I was like, I was already getting into the third season, and Kyle was like, "All right, time to enter season two. And I was right? Like, Why? Is he, how is he yeah. taking his fucking time? Well, that's what I kept, kept on building more and more cards. And like, that's one thing that fucked me is I couldn't get these combos going. Like, and if if I did, Kyle would steal the thing that I could get for free. And so I'm just like, that's the big thing about this game. Is you have to work those combos. You have to. You have to like. When your turn comes around, you have to go. What's going to get me the most points? Right, like right. you can't, you can't think too far. Ahead. You have to plan ahead, but See, you have to be and ready to. Switch. Interestingly, I wasn't really looking at the points so much as the synergies. The synergies. Yeah, synergies. That's exactly yeah. what I was doing. Synergies. Which another that's great just didn't work for efficiency. Me. Like, but that didn't work. At the, at the end of it all, I got third place. Just prioritizing synergies. But it got me real fucking close. It had did. I yeah, had yeah. I come in with this, you know, instead of. Yeah, some of these or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, could have been a could have been a different game. Could have yeah, been I think you needed to prioritize your synergies, like because you were you just had a plethora of them. Instead of playing them all just wildly, you could should have like yeah. had some sort of like yeah preference on that. Where I didn't, I had a couple of them. I'll tell you what though, two. 
even like I I love the fact that tracking the points that everybody else has is like too hard to, <laughs> to, to try and do. Yeah, so you don't really then, yeah. so you don't really know how well you're doing. Which would be different if this was like on the digital tabletop, right? Um, potentially, yeah. Potentially, then it would be easier to see who's. It depends in the league, on how they set it up, but yeah, they, yeah. Uh, sure so I, I kind of love that it's almost impossible to figure out how well you're doing against right. everybody else, and I love the fact that like as you're playing all of those synergies and things, like oh, I get to play this for free, and that's going to get me that. But like all of that mm -hmm. stuff building up makes it feel really satisfying as you're playing it. Mm. Even if, as it turns out, you're not doing all that well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was really... Uh, it felt, I felt so much fun. It felt really good. Super stoked on the ones that I had, that, like the judge, that let me not worry about resources. There's a great yeah, that I got that. I was like, fuck it. I don't, have to, I don't have to stress about getting my mm -hmm. people out here. And then you notice that I was able to use my cards, not the general cards, and just really wasn't stressing much at all about yeah, um, really resource um, yeah. acquisition. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're building an engine, but... You're building a couple different engines that yeah. sometimes talk to each other. Right, and that's all the luck of the cards. Yeah. It's like, what's going to show up in the right. meadow? What's going to mm -hmm. show up in your hand? Right. But how, how fast are you completing seasons? Are you building mm -hmm. a plant engine? Are you building based off plant critters or constructions right. or set collection? And there's so many different ways to score points at the end of it all. Yep. With the events and the cards themselves and the bonuses from the cards and the yep. journeys and like all of those different that's I you know, I I bet an experienced player could take a glance and really have a much better idea of what potentially up against. Because you know what the synergies are. You start to get them in your bones. Not like cow card play counting lot, exactly, yeah. but like kind of like card counting. Yeah, if you play it a lot. But as Eric was mentioning during while, while we were playing, there are a shitload of expansions for this game out now. Oh God! That there's one one actually gives you a whole nother board, which blows my mind. Where Good would boy. you have room? Yeah, that's why I, I remember when we were because uh, because my friend who I played with uh, was like, yeah, I'm gonna just Google which ones are the best, like like which ones are the ones worth buying. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. So that's why. Uh, he only got the one, but yeah. Gotcha. Because because there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I am really curious to play. Like I, this was a lot of fun. It, I would love to play it again. Phenomenal game. Uh, I said it. I said it during during our our teach at the beginning of the show. Uh, I am a little bit, just ever so slightly, put off by the fact that the price point is seventy dollars for the retail version of the game, and there are some pretty high quality components included in this game that don't really add anything to the game. The game is fully play would be fully playable with just cardboard tokens instead of these cool looking logs and resin and stones that and stuff. That said, like, I it's very satisfying, it's very fun. I would love to see a lower price point version of the game for people to yes, experience but it. Yes, I think that this is a game that when people buy it, if they can find people that they enjoy playing it, they'll play they're it gonna a lot. get their money. Yeah, that's true. Like and absolutely. Clearly, and clearly, people like this game. People buy this game. It's well, and, it's and done think very about well. those cardboard tokens. Like you play something like Arkham Horror, right? And if you don't get the token protectors for the little bag, sure, yeah, um, they're suddenly they'll start, like fluff. they'll start to fray. Over so time for if sure. somebody's really gonna play the shit out of this game, having these premium elements, these will last longer. Will yeah, that's absolutely true. last the lifespan. Yeah, and of then the game. you get one of those third party like boxes, so you can put the tree away special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, there's I, there's a premium tree that's made yeah, of wood too. I've seen that. <laughs> I thought about getting that for my friend's birthday. I was like, what can I get him? The premium tree? Yeah. I mean, you got to think about it from a publisher point. Like, if you're trying to sell the lowest quality board game you can just to get the price point down, right? Like, you're gonna have issues with quality. You're gonna have people bitching about that. Like. If you but <laughs> if you come up with a badass game and you put the the work into the actual quality components yeah. and get that to 
I feel like seventy for all of this is a pretty good price. If I we're complaining about how stuff. high quality the stuff is, that's like right. first world problems of the yeah, highest yeah, yeah. Like No, my, <laughs> like yeah, my, but that's it's a I mean, it's a very minor gripe. Seventy dollars is that, a lot of money, but that's what a modern video game costs these days. Yeah, so. right. That's true. Yeah, uh, and God, yeah, I I would play this. A lot more than most video games. Yeah, this has a lot this of replayability. Real like, there's a lot of systems that work here. Yeah, like, especially when you factor in all those expansions that change. Yeah, things you can up modify too. stuff. Like, it's I'm like I can I, I see why it's seventy, and I I actually feel like yeah, it's that's that's a good market price for this. Like, if you can do that and get your product out for there for that much, and it's a good quality product, then. And it's got Shit. and it's got great table presence because of this tree, and right. that's honestly that's not even thing. that's not even the most expensive part of the the game. Sure. Right? Yeah. From like, production. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's just yeah. That's, that's just cardboard. Yeah. But it looks so Couple good. It's a chipboard. <laughs> but it looks so good. Uh, it's a very fun game. I'm gonna be playing it again and again. I I'm probably gonna be looking now for the uh, the complete collection. Yeah, get it. Probably second hand because I because I think retail that one's three hundred and eighty dollars, <laughs> but it includes all of the expansions so far and all the premium components like okay. the wood tree and everything. Interesting, interesting. And I there's four or five expansions out Damn. now or something. A lot of expansions. So I'm gonna be looking for it probably second hand, and this is probably gonna go on the giveaway list. There is copy. a lower price point version. It's called used. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point, Danica. Fair point. This is the kind of game that, even with a lot of mechanics, appeals to a whole family and can have a long lifespan and get replayed over and over. I think, yeah. yes, absolutely, once you get into it. I think this is one of those games that's going to be a little bit higher uh, cost of entry for yeah, more it's not, casual board gamers. Yeah, it's yeah. not Bambi's first game, but it's, it's like, it's like okay, we've played a couple of things before. Right. I think you're ready for this. It's right. not like they can't get into it, because like once you get into it, it's actually really very Especially, straightforward, but it, it is a daunting yeah. instruction period. It does, I would say it does, that's accurate. It does that good thing that I think a lot of board games do, where it starts off easier and gets more because because you literally you start that off that first season is real ter- simple. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so simple. It's like you can do one of three things and you can do it twice. Mm-hmm. Right, that's yeah. why I was getting pissed off because I'm mm-hmm. like, I did my three workers, I got my resources, but I don't have anything to build buildings or synergies. And Kyle's like, I'm gonna do this and get this free and that and this free. <laughs> yeah. And like eight turns later, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that, that's another interesting mechanic in the middle where if if you're forced to go off of the the um, center, yeah, it takes away some potential gridlock and reveals some other options for the other players, yep. which mm-hmm. is. Uh, yeah, a, a very interesting part of the which game. Which happened as well. for you because mm-hmm. he forgot to do it. You were like, "I can't do anything," and then we rewound the clock to to mm-hmm. fix that. And then you had two whole more turns yeah. because of that. Yeah, which is just didn't help. It's a, I mean, it's a smart. <laughs> oh, it's a smart um, mechanism built into the game mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to see who won the poll. Oh yeah, we'll go ahead. Oh, yeah, we'll go ahead and give that prediction award. Uh. God, what a great game. This was a lot of fun. Are these, how many of these little cards are there? <laughs> it's just Eric winning his, winning his points I'm just going to make my points back. <laughs> I think so. Bullshit. Like, there was like one other person who yeah. put in a prediction. I got a 2% chance. <laughs> and you know what? Thank Honestly, you, chat. I was, I was second. I was hoping I was going to lose and spread that all those points. <laughs> oh, no, I made I made 200 points. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That how much? How many of these guys were there? Uh, let's there's let's a, check there's quite a few. Because yeah. I like this a lot. I didn't talk about that. But that I feel like because the normal the worker placer ga- placement games are like static boards usually. Yeah. They, so having the static and the change ones is good. Yeah. Lots of different. Uh, oh, that's quite a stack. Yeah, there's, there's quite. A, well, there's both. That that's both events and yeah. uh, forest cards. But there's. Okay. The other possible forest cards. Oh, shit. Yeah, we only had four. And here's all the other possible Three special berries. events. Look at all. Yeah, of this these. changes the economy of every game. Three opens up a three berries. That's Normally, wild. there's only a one berry. Yeah. Well, and if you're only playing with two people, only having one slot, but yeah. also really be able to, three people, three people even. Yeah. Turn in three cards to get three events. Oh, is this a three Ooh. minimum? It's, no, I mean, yeah. I mean these, you can play it solo. But these yeah, can change the those, entire game. Like you could have the same game, but just swap these. And it's an entirely yeah. different game. Well, and look at all these different event cards too. 
all these special events that they give you points. Yeah. There's so Cup many different yeah, ones to choose from. Build stuff. your city differently. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we have to. Okay, I was. A lot of replayability. This there. is a digital version. I believe there oh, is. Yeah. There is. Yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah, there's yeah. even a, vi- there's, yeah, there's a Yeah, there's a video game. Oh, version. wow. So I'm going to pick that up on Android. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I got to see. Is that like video game like on. It's probably um, on Steam. Yeah. Yeah, probably. It's definitely on Android, probably on Steam, and definitely on. If it's on Android, iOS, it's, yeah. it's, it's on, on iOS, iOS yeah. as well. Because you would make something on iOS first and then support it. I wouldn't. Most but, app yeah. developers, because the hurdles are greater. Uh, this is a phenomenal game, and I cannot wait to play the hell out of it. It's not on the PlayStation, uh-huh. unfortunately. Um. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing more of this for sure. This is great. Okay. I, I am also curious. There is a solo variant for it uh, that I have not. Are you gonna play with yourself? It's probably like a <laughs> easier high score kind of thing. Oh, but Everdell is on probably. Nintendo Switch, folks. Oh, okay. Oh. That's that. interesting. I'm gonna have to get that for Switch. I sure did get myself a new OLED Switch recently. Oh, so, nice. <laughs> so yeah, lots of different options for how to play this game and, and how to change it up. Sick. Yeah, uh, very very solid game. Now I, I'm so glad that I've gotten a chance to play it finally, and mm-hmm. I know Looks what all too. the bu- what all the fuss is about. It's, right. It's real good. Yeah, it's good. Real good. Yeah. The price and it's only twenty bucks. <laughs> there you go. Ah. <laughs> The, the price point did, like, delay me getting this game. I kept thinking, I want to play it at some point. But honestly, I was like, but it's 70 bucks to get the, the basic edition, and if I like it, I'm going to want to get the complete collection. True. So maybe yeah. I should just get the complete collection out of the gate. <laughs> but then if I do that and I don't like it, then, then yeah, I've spent yeah. 300 some odd dollars on a and game you I don't really like. hit that resale yeah. market, you know? <laughs> You don't want to be out in the streets. So I, I <laughs> sat on the fence for a while. I get it. I get it. But no, this is, this is a good quality investment. This is a good yeah, game. Yeah, really good game. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably just turn this into a giveaway copy and work on getting me there a copy go. of the yep. complete collection. Get to complete. Do you need to go fund me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Everdell. Great game. Okay. Uh, so let's take it over to the tavern. And which is where we've kind of been anyway. Oh, hi. Uh, but uh, less chance of it cutting to the table now. Uh, this is the portion of the show where we tell people what we're up to, where they can find us, that sort of thing. I'll start with my co hosts. Eric, do you have anything? Uh, I'm probably going to start reading a book at work again, just because the guy who used to sit next to me that talked all the time is gone, so I might have more free time to read. But I don't know how talkative this new guy is going to be, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing that You're with the class. Dustin, you got anything for us? I enjoyed that. I, I, I felt like that we connected with Eric's life a little bit. But mm. We should hang out. Yeah, we should. We should. Um, as always, go ahead and check out thumbboardgames.com. <laughs> See how the fun board games I've made you can get yourself. Speaking of digital board games, I'm working on one that's got this guy in it. Yeah, so if you want to see this guy on your Android phone or Steam or eventually Apple iPhones. <laughs> I want to see it on my phone. Hey, wait, I do. Oh, what? Well, this guy's got it. Go. What? Oh, it's Don't Let It Die? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got it. I had so much fun with He's that. He's got an app. I asked for it at a store and they did not have it. <sighs> I know a guy can get it for you, though. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'll hold you to that. Just turn around. <laughs> Take one of those. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, David, how about you? Um, let's see. The most recent thing to happen for me that I've been really, really stoked about is uh, X-Men 97. Mm. You can hear me Ooh, in nice. a few of those episodes. Oh, awesome. um, you can hear me as Leech, starting at uh, episode two. You can hear me as Mojo, just devouring the scenery in episode four. Uh, subtlety was never really my strong suit. <laughs> um, as you guys might have guessed from the <laughs> evening, I, I don't know for sure. Uh, you can hear me as Banshee with a terrible Irish dialect, so judge me and judge me harshly. <laughs> but I would argue it fits in well with the DNA of the original show. Because mm. we've heard some of those dialects, too. Oh, no, me! Uh, <laughs> and uh, next week, you can hear me in the episode again, but I can't say anything about that. Um, 
Mm. And then, uh, you know, still check out Disney Speedstorm, uh, where I play Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, uh, who's a lot of fun. You know, Walt's original creation before Mickey Mouse stole my job. I don't think I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, keep your eyes out. If, if you happen to follow me on social media, Check out uh, the different conventions that I'm going to. I've got a, a few more lined up this year. Next, I'll be in Oklahoma City at the end of uh, May. Come by, bring your pops. Come by and talk about board games, get signatures, whatever. I, I don't have that much of a line, so I usually can chat. <laughs> nice. So. Uh, as for me, I'm going to be doing some cons as well. I'm going to be at Anime STX in San Antonio, Texas next weekend, which means there will not be a board and barrel next weekend. What? Uh, this is bullshit. Assuming they've booked my flights. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm also going to be at Colossal Con in Sandusky, Ohio at the end of May. Uh, and there's other stuff coming up as well. Uh, as for this show, we are norm- ordinarily live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, obviously not live next weekend because I'm going to be out of town doing a con. Uh, the weekend after that, we are going to be playing Munchkin with James Padilla. Uh, Munchkin is, Steve Jackson Games is launching a Munchkin big box edition that's going to have some new exclusive stuff as well as including like all of the expansions and uh, the the deluxe edition of Munchkin uh, so they're going to they're going to send us a little bit of stuff to to demo uh, for that ooh they don't yeah. have they're not going to send us the big box cuz they they're still producing it they're going to send us what? other stuff but the kickstarter is live i think <laughs> in 2 days is when the kickstarter oh, wow. goes live uh, and we'll have we'll have links for it uh, when we're when we're doing the show. Uh, the weekend after that, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, starting at noon Pacific time. Cinco, yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are doing our inaugural Board and Barrel Crokinole Charity Invitational, uh, which is going to have a whole slew of guests. Oh, uh, yeah. Including <laughs> David. Work them out, gotta work them out. Playing I'm in, training. Uh, uh, in in pairs, teams of two, we're going to be playing a doubles tournament of Crokinole all day long. Uh, everybody's playing on behalf of a different charity. Uh, we're going to have information on all of those different charities and how you can donate to them directly throughout the day. Uh, and also, we're going to be taking donations for a championship pot, and whoever wins the day... Uh, all of the money that goes into that pot will go to their chosen charity. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be outside. It's probably going to be too hot. Uh, (laughs) And we're going to be streaming all day long. So don't miss it. Mark your calendars. May 5th, starting at noon Pacific time. Oh, yeah. And guess what? Guess what's coming (laughs) to my house this week? What is finally shipping? Slay the Spire. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Ooh. Real excited about that, so we might have to do a, nice. a, a day of that at some point. Oh, we have so many games to play. So many games to play. <laughs> it's great. Anyway, that is going to do it for this week's Board and Barrel. Thank you all so very much for spending your Sunday evening yeah. with us. Mm-hmm. David, thank you. Of yeah. course. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure. I'm sorry I had to back out uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, no. fuck you for that. No, yeah. was, I'm so you didn't mad. want to get sick. Yeah, no, it was a good call. That was a rough one. It was a good call, yeah. Uh, and I ended up playing something versus the stream instead. So it, it, oh, there you go. What? Out. Cool. <laughs> We're knocking the tree over. <laughs> I, I have to Nobody do- give this man more than one beer. <laughs> I have to do it three times, otherwise it's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, comedy comes in threes, and it's all about the... Well, I mean... Time, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you all so very much for hanging out with us, and we will see you in two weeks. Bye bye! Kill the music! Bye!